three, two, yeah. one, let's go. Hey guys, it's J19 brought to you in our video, and we're back for another J19's gaming podcast. We got some stuff for you to talk about today, um, along with the Activision Blizzard thing. It's not big news for Sony, it's more like from Microsoft, so stay tuned for more throughout this podcast. Thank you guys for joining us, and if you're watching this, of course, after, on YouTube, thank you for joining me. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like, you guys know what to do. I'm here with Over, I'm here with uh, his friend. Um, yep, I'm Alpha Nexus, for those that don't know. Alright, and uh, we got Over down below us, of course, with his awesome camera quality. <laughs> But, we love to see it. Come oh, on, man. That's right. Anyways, <laughs> enough for the introductions. Uh, we are here to discuss some awesome gaming. Uh, I do. Yeah, this is going to be awesome. So what's the first step you guys want to talk to talk about? You want to talk about um, Activision Blizzard? or? I want to talk about The Last of Us HBO because I know all of us have been watching right. it. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Just so, Okay. Yeah. Fair warning. I just, I'm about halfway through episode five, so anything beyond that... Don't go, go, don't go back. <laughs> okay, so, that. um, all right. Uh, season, oh episodes one through four, or maybe beginning in five, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> we can't, <laughs> so we can't discuss beyond episode five, yeah, which right. is fine. I'll just give my first impressions of it. Okay. All right. I plan, so, I plan on binging that tomorrow. I'm going to go okay. ahead and binge it and oh. get it beat. Oh, dude, you do it, dude. It's, it's so good. good. Um, it is um, really I'm going good. to uh, I'm good. <laughs> definitely liking the changes they're having in it. I'll just say that. Um, yeah, no, they definitely work for like when it comes to the changes. Um, it, like they they work. They don't impede on anything. It just like builds on what they already have. Oh yeah, which is really for nice. Sure. You know what I mean? For sure. And it, and it's setting us up for that. season two. Um, and and I tell you what, a lot always... of people are not ready for it. Yeah. Oh, dude, season two. Oh my god, that is gonna break people. It is, oh, and I hope, like, and I hope see... that they don't have any more like uh, Twitter issues with somebody getting threatened because they play a certain character. Um, is that is that what happened? Oh yeah, they threatened. They threatened the voice actor for Abby. They wanted her dead. Oh, they wanted Neil yeah. Druckmann's dead. Oh my god. Yeah, it was, it was so bad because that sucks. The last was part two. Like, yeah, I understand like some of the story, the story decisions they made, like like the flashbacks in between, like. That's fine, Danny, but like yeah. maybe do the flashbacks like in the beginning, set things right. up. Right, makes sense. Yeah. I have um, but, yet I to play that... part two, but like I know what happens and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and I know yeah. all the major spoilers. We have but... both played part two, and we can t tell you, Alpha, that like holy shit, it is the story is so much more complex. And yeah. Just raw, and oh my god, so much happens. And my jaw was on the floor, dude. I was like, well, yeah. to me, I'm not more like the I'm not like the like story and characters are important, <laughs> but me number one is gameplay, and the gameplay for the Last of Us Part Two is so smooth, and so it such is. a masterpiece, especially like the animations and stuff, and the sound That's effects. Here. I'm I like, like holy the crap! Facial like, motion capture, like, was, it was amazing. Like, incredible. Like, I, yeah. yeah, I noticed I'm a scene. big, I'm a big oh, cinematics man. nerd too. Oh, I like I the too. sound design, visuals, all that. stuff. Like minor, minor stuff when it comes to playing the game. Oh yeah, um, like that. That stuff's huge. It makes a makes an experience. I think uh, one of the best examples of it is like I was talking to people about shooter games. Yeah. And like what makes a gun feel powerful, and we kind of came to the conclusion is like the sound design of a gun in a game is what ultimately will make it feel more powerful when you're using it. And I I kind of like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From what I played at the first Last of Us, like the sound design and all the visual aspects, it's just all great. And I can't wait to play the second one. Oh yeah, when you get a chance. Uh, I don't know what you got a PS5 or no? I don't. I have a old PS4 that I'm trying to get. To oh, work that's again, that's fine. Even like the PC. even like the yeah, the Last of Us Part Two on P PS4 is still phenomenal. It's it's amazing. Awesome. It is. All right. And dude, hey, uh, I can loan you my copy of it if you need it. Yeah, right. once I get it fixed up, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, and uh, uh, also, unfortunately, I, I can't. I, don't, I can't finish this bad boy because <laughs> the stupid, uh, the stupid uh, glitch I'm stuck in. Like it's uh, oh really? The button prop, I guess, glitch is glitched out. So I have to like, I do multiple steps to fix it. I'm like Naughty Dog. I'm like. I'm not your I'm not your game designer. Like I'm not your technician <laughs> right here. Yeah, but I need I need some money yeah. to fix your game. You know, give me some of that yeah. moolah. But 
it's it's not a, it's not a bad game. Mm-hmm. I really like it. The story, like I can see why people love the story. Like, I think it's one of the best like storytelling games of oh, all yeah. time, especially on the PlayStation Three. You play that game back on the PS Three, like what the hell is this? Like this right. ain't a PS Three no, game. Last of Us on PS Three was like push the boundaries. Like it was PS Three swan song, you know, because yeah. it came yeah, like yeah. right at the end of the generation. The PS Three, yeah, it blew everyone's freaking minds. Just like you know, just I like Part it. Two, but in the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but guess what? Oh, it still sold over 10 million copies, so it can't be that many haters. Right. And um, I've always th- thought as a, a TV show, you know, I've always looked at, at the TV show, and not as a, compar- a comparison, but as a companion, right? They both yeah, complement yeah. each other so well, and they can both live side by side and speak yeah. to another. Oh, yeah. And it's two, it's two yeah. variations of the same story. You know what it I mean? Is, yeah. Because hey, like, I, and, and this is one way to experience this story, and here's a whole other way to experience this story. You know? Exactly. Yeah. And it always exactly. like it feels like you're you know when I was watching the show, it feels like I'm entering this different parallel dimension. Oh yeah. You know? it's, uh, it's let like me the... let me just share let me just share my first impressions because you know I didn't play the rest of the part one because I got like through about half of it. And right. it's at fifty three percent. I want I want to grind it out before I watch the show. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and just start watching the show. I kind of know the ending and right. all that. But the the when he first started off with the same actor from the Mummy with Brendan Fraser, I'm like, holy crap! I know this guy. And he just started talking yeah. like they start talking about you know bacteria and viruses and stuff like that. And everybody's like, <gasps> you know. But right. the main <laughs> thing why I love they set it up is he starts to talk about fungal, you know, fungus, a fungi. Yeah. And it's actually and it's a real like, thing. It all links it up, and everybody's just ch- everybody's just chattering, laughing it off. He said, like, yeah, that's about the normal response. But he starts going more in depth of what can happen. And he's like, what happens? What do we do then? He goes, we're, we're done. Like, this, it's right. game over. It's game over and, for us. And, like, then the intro starts. It's like, holy crap, what a way to start the, start the, the show off. And the thing that's about it is, like Issa said, yeah, Cordyceps is very much a real parasitic fungus. and Right now, it like mainly only feeds off like a uh, trees, other plants, and whatnot, and like and ants. It's it's possible ants, really? that yeah. we can wow. have a Last of Us situation. Like it, it's probable, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's not impossible. Hey, I'm, if, I'll yeah. Well, it's just possible. it's just it's like, just like he said. He said uh, it can't live in a in an organism that's above ninety four yeah. degree Fahrenheit. Right, it would have to evolve like a whole new DNA strand to do anything and with. Hey, and just so I know, there is a there is a fungal bacteria going around that's affecting like people with really bad immune systems right now. Yeah, you gotta oh, be yeah, really poorly know. sick to get it. They said, and they well, they said this in the article it says, maybe. do not do not link this to the Last of Us. Don't worry about it. This ain't the Last of Us. <laughs> yeah. So they know. So they like, know everybody's gonna start linking years. that. Go, oh no, it's here. This, uh, you know, maybe now. I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but maybe throughout the years the fungus will uh, develop and it will become stronger and it will yeah, be mutates, able to yeah. infect humans. You know, um, it is, it is possible. I mean, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna see some stuff we never seen before. Like, oh yeah, yeah. There's... We got a sneak peek with COVID. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it, was, it was pretty bad, but yeah, yeah. It's just it's crazy. Like, just like I didn't know that stuff. I thought they. You know, I thought, man, a fungus is out there that's poisonous. Like, if you eat it or something, you ingest it, it's going to kill you. But then, like, right. after the, after playing part two, I didn't play part one. I was like, what's this cordyceps? Like, fungus and spores and all that. Like, where did they get the idea from? I thought it's just something that not, Neil Druckmann just had a dream. I had a dream <laughs> of some cordyceps. Right. And then I found a video, and they said, these cordyceps fungus is real. I was like, holy crap. Like. It's it's yeah. It's like mind blowing, but yeah, the the show sets it up to a point like, holy crap! Like this is a great way to get people in tight. No wonder why it's, it has so many millions and millions of views. Like what's even crazier too is they're actually edible if you dry them out. Really? Huh. Yep. Wow. Yeah. So the mushrooms themselves are actually edible and consumable. Huh. Who knew? So, oh, uh, just like the yeah. idea, like like Joel. I got to the point where. Joel's like he's smacking the fungus. I'm like, don't do that. You're gonna wake him up. Like right. if you if disturb it, he's like, this is all dried out. We're good. No, you're not. That's because if you listen to part two, well, it says spores. They put spores in part two to say, hey, you got clickers here. 
I was like, right. don't be fool. Like, yeah. this is like Clicker's Nest. And I remember the museum from part one. I'm like, get ready. Things about yeah. ready to get heated, and sure did. My first run of that, I had a little hard time with the clickers surviving that. Oh, clickers. <laughs> <Wait>. Remember? <laughs> like, yeah. to me, to me, like, for like, clickers are like about as bad as liquors in Resident Evil. Like, yeah. those two are like neck to neck. It's like, you know, I'd rather not deal with them, but I got to. But clickers are a little bit more easier than liquors because it takes like four to five shotgun shells to the face to kill those liquors. Exactly. And but clickers, you just go off behind clickers. them, just stab them with a shiv or, or a knife. Which like totally reminds me too. I got a, I have, uh, I got Resi Four for my uh, Meta Quest Two. I gotta yeah. play that. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. So good, it's really cool and VR. Yeah, and uh, I so. played a remake demo, oh, and I, yeah. I thought it was like a nine point five out of ten. The only, oh, the only reason why I didn't get hear. 10 out of 10 because it was too short. I'm like, I want more. But yeah. with GameStop yeah. being how they are and, and all that jazz, I was like, you know what? I want to get the game, but I can probably just wait for a sale. Like, I'm not going to watch right. anybody else play it. I'm just going to wait. Um, yeah, I was gonna that's get... kind of my plan for yeah. sur- like Jedi Survivor because I don't know if it's releasing on PC at, on release. Yeah, uh, it, is. it is? Okay, yeah. that's good news. Okay. Yeah. So then I'll probably pick that up once it releases. But like Spider Man, I know I'm definitely gonna have to wait for because I, yeah. I played. Um, oh yeah, but... because Spider Man Two is like locked in behind PS Five, which yeah, yeah, it's understandable. It's gonna be a PS Five exclusive. So but this either, sets I me up perfectly PS5. because I got I got Dallin Two coming out next month. Now you got Final Fantasy Sixteen coming out in June. So I got those right. two to make up for the first half of the year. The second half, I got 16 leading off probably in July. Then July until about September, October is Spider-Man right. too. Like then that's I got true. I got something to play in between. Yeah. So and that's, there, that's not even to mention like all the planned Nintendo releases for this year. Oh I mean, yeah. We, yeah. After 10 years, man, we finally got Pikmin 4. You know. Oh that's yeah. Coming. We got the new that's Zelda amazing. game. Freaking. Uh, Metroid Prime just came out. The new Kirby remake. Yeah, and there's uh, also there's also uh, a rumor slash leak going around that uh, Nintendo is still working. They apparently they're still working on a Donkey Kong uh, IP, and it's gonna be oh, open. Yeah. It's gonna be like an open world. It's gonna be like uh, what I oh, read of it. I thought it's gonna be awesome. 3D open world of DK Jungle would be like something. I'm super. I'd be super into yeah. that. That's cool. Because the last Donkey Kong I actually enjoy was. Donkey Kong 64. Like, right. that was my bread and butter. I can go back and play it any time. Like, that was my favorite. Yeah. Other than Donkey like, Kong I Country liked... 1 and 3. One yeah. three. I liked Tropical Freeze. It was an alright game. Yeah. It definitely wasn't the best, but, you know. Yeah. You guys know I haven't played a whole lot of Nintendo games, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's, all, all it's all good. It's all good. I mean, yeah. I got a Switch. I need to get back to playing. I was going to play earlier today, but I got busy I with got, Yeah. Very recently, I got super addicted to Splatoon 3. Yeah, uh, a couple, I play with a couple of our mutual friends, and mm-hmm. uh, that like I've been playing nonstop recently. And for any Nintendo fans that may be listening, uh, Splatfest is this weekend, this upcoming weekend. So that's a thing. Ah, but I've had, I've been having so much fun with that recently. It's yeah. been so cool. I wish I could go to PAX East, as I was like, people like getting excited for. I'm like, oh, I wish I could go yeah, one of those events. Shoot, that's right. I gotta get tickets. For what? What's that? Pax East. It's. I, yeah. I think. I think the last day is like tomorrow. Oh really? Oh shit. Yeah, okay. like what is today. Pax East. Again? Pax it's East. a large gaming convention in Boston. Oh, cool. oh is it? Yeah, yeah like they showcase a, showcase a lot of games there. That people that show up, like like Final Fantasy 16, like direct, like the the producer Yoshi Yoshinari, uh, not Yoshinari, uh, Yoshi P. Yoshi P. <laughs> um, yeah. Yoshida. You know, you guys know who he is. Uh, and his uh, localized localization uh, director, uh, Koji Fox, was there. Like those two are answering questions, they're showcasing the game like for like an hour, like a whole bunch That's of new crazy. stuff. But they had a stream. They had a stream issue on Twitch, so they had to like upload like the first eighteen minutes. Is that like, all right, guys? We're sorry, but technical issues. We will upload the rest of the the panel later. I'm like, okay, I'll wait for that when that shows up. Okay. Want to watch it all because I was trying to watch it on Twitch. And it's like, right. come on, quit freezing up, like froze a few times. It's like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I but can yeah. feel that, man. But anyways, now... get back to on track with The Last of Us. Um, I thought the first 
four episodes I think was very good. Episode five is looking pretty sneaky. But um, man, episode one will always be one of my favorite episodes. Did you just? Oh yeah, the the way they the way they set everything up, especially and in the out. recreated yeah, that scene with uh with Joel and and Sarah and yeah. Oh just, my god! Yikes. And you can tell that with Ellie, you know when Joel found that you know like uh spoke to, to, to Ellie and you know this isn't a spoiler or anything, but like in episode nine he's like you know. Hey, you know, honey, you okay? He, he kind of like opens more to her. But if yeah. you guys in episode one, oh, yeah. he was more talkative to Joel. But near the end. Yeah, I, I can see, like, even in episode, episode like, episode four. That was really well done. At the end of episode okay. four, I love this line. Because they're both sleeping in this, like, office thing after climbing all those stairs, you know, flights yep. of stairs. And they lay down that, and, and she's like, What are you doing, Joe? Well, just in case somebody comes in, all the broken glass. And so he's laying down, and Ellie's trying to sleep, and Ellie wakes up and goes, Joel, Joel. He's like, what? I got, I got an important question for you. He's like, something about diarrhea. It, it was pretty funny. Yeah, that, that whole bit was pretty good. <laughs> and like, like, I started cracking up laughing. I was like, man, this is great. Like, their relationship is like... Oh, man. And Super Joel and Ellie dynamic. Just, and like, and, and Joel's Absolutely. like, you know what? He goes, that's just dumb. He starts chuckling. He tries to sleep. They yeah. start bust out laughing. And then, of course, yeah, Sam great. and Henry show up. And I'm like, holy crap. Like, this is tef- definitely different than the game. Like, this is more intense. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> this is another thing I just remembered. Counter Strike 2, or like CSGO 2 or whatever. Valve is making games again. Never thought Ooh. I'd see it happen. <laughs> like, hey, there you go. Crazy. Uh, this means possible TF2 update, guys. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? No wonder why they got Steam Deck on sale for ten percent off. Yeah. Oh man. That's but, great. Uh, That's great to see yeah. Val going back to main games. Like, hey, you you run a Steam Deck, make games for yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I'm really glad Valve is making coming back to make games because, dude, some some of the Valve games are like made up my entire gaming experience. I've been playing TF2 for yeah, like almost all my life. And, oh, yeah. uh, and like, you know, you, you, we've talked about this, how like, you know, like the gaming industry has become so big and now with obviously Game Pass is right. the biggest, you know, like streaming gaming media service out there. And it's crazy because I'm looking at this and I'm like, whoa, like this is, this is getting big, you know, like so many yeah. of these streaming, you know, gaming services have so many games, dude. Like even on my PlayStation Plus Extra, dude. Yeah. I have, dude, I have and like I, the catalog is so big, and I'm like trying to play all of them, but I just don't have time because you know I got other priorities. Oh, I got life. I got like 600 games in my backlog right now. Gee, 600. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Yeah, those is all the games I claim over the last like year and a half, two years of PlayStation Plus. Like here's here's your three free games for the for the month. It's like thank uh, you, Sony. There's more for my backlog. Like, and then Epic yeah, Games keeps like, like Epic right. Games gave me like a lot of Fallout games, like so that's free, like for the holidays. Like here's all the Fallout games other than Ford, and my buddy's like, here, I'll buy you oh, four. Here's a free gift for you. So hell yeah, I get pretty much all the Fallout games now. I got a and then, another and then Fallout New Fallout New Vegas was like two dollars and forty nine cents on Steam sales last week or something like that. I was like, oh hell I'll, yeah, I'll pick it up. It's yeah. so dude, New Vegas is the best one. I love it so much. So it's like, and I got I got all the almost basically all the Devil May Cry games now. Is Steam oh, sales sweet. get to me? Like I, I spent hundreds beat, of dollars I on just Steam beat sales. Devil May Cry Five, and it's so good, man. Yeah, I've seen you play it. I, it's so good. Yeah, I I, I love it. it. And what's it, it, and what's it, it, really cool about that, like that combat system, is so good. And so like once you get a hang of it and start getting used mm-hmm. to it, it's like you look at Final Fantasy Sixteen, it's like. Everybody's like, is that Devil May Cry 6? <laughs> <laughs> because the battle director, uh, Suzuki, he worked on Devil May Cry 5 and Do- Dragon's Dogma and, and Cap- Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and all that. Like, he even said that the battle system for Final Fantasy 16 is like one of the, like, the best work he's ever done. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like, I can't wait. That's cool. I can't wait. And because I, I, 
I want to play Devil May Cry. Then I played five back in 2021 on the, the special edition with PS5. And right. I streamed that. I was like, holy crap, this is great. The only downfall about that was the level design was a little eh. So it's, like, yeah. it's an yeah, 8.5 8. out of 10. That, it's a great game. I love the combat. love the characters. Dante is such a cocky asshole. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude, I love the Devil May Cry games. They're just, like, so much fun. Hack and Slash games in general are pretty fun. Um, yeah, just, like... Yeah. I just, I really like it. I can't, like, I'm so excited. I will go back and play their, their other ones, but I'm so excited, like, after Dragon's Dogma 2, I know that group is working on that. Then they'll finally start yeah. working on Devil May Cry 6. I'm looking forward to that. Like, right. what can they do with the story? Because, like, Nero's super cool. Like, even though he's kind of cocky, arrogant, Dude, little young I, bastard. With, <laughs> Nero is by far my favorite character because with one of his arms, like, it's basically like an Iron Man punch, and you punch him, yeah. and you can really ride the arm. You can ride yeah, it's cool him. as shit. And you can just it's so kill cool. enemies. And, like, and he gets he 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 that Mega, the it's Mega like Man uh, cannon. Yeah. Cool. Where is yeah. <laughs> um, That's all sick. Yeah, for sure. Uh, shit, Final Fantasy 16. I totally forgot about that. See, I've never been big on, like, the Final Fantasy series, but, like, I can definitely see, like, how big of an impact it has on gaming in general, and like I want to get oh, yeah. into Final Fantasy fourteen as an MMO. Oh, you should Final like Fantasy. because Final Fantasy fourteen Final Fantasy is going to get a graphical overhaul like after sixteen. Right. Though. And yeah. I was going to say like Final Fantasy seven remake was my first game, and I fell in love with it. And Dan I can tell you this because that's his favorite game. Oh yeah, and, right. um, he recommended it to me, and I, I I absolutely fell in love with it. So oh, hell yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, because the 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 hybrid system they have, which, which is it's a hack and slash, but you got to use your ATB and like you can use a slow down function. You don't even have to do that. You can do like Kingdom Hearts, like shortcuts and right. stuff for that. And it's like once you get the hang of that combat system, it's sick. You pull off oh, like yeah. you can have all three of your characters like do all their big limit breaks, like the big special moves, all at once and do massive amounts of That's damage. Really cool. Yeah, it's like, it is crazy. And like 16, it's, it's like they take in the, like the best of DMC5. It's like, what can we do to make it better and fit the Final Fantasy like genre? Like, and they've done it. Like, all everything I've seen so far, I'm like, this is going to get a lot of people's attention because what are you going to play during like June? Well, other than Street Fighter and Diablo 4, like, if you're not into those games, it's like, what's the next big action game I want to play? Final right. Fantasy 16 is like the summer hit. Like Sony's gonna start driving this thing hard because they want sales for the PS5 for the summer because Spider Man's now so we'll get to it. Right. <laughs> and this podcast as well. So but yeah. I think that I think that uh Spider Man two, when we first see actual gameplay of it, it's gonna blow our freaking socks off. Because listen, we all know Insomniac. Oh yeah, I absolutely love Spider-Man, yeah. and what they did so well. Not only, not only, they nailed the the world of New York and Spider-Man's gameplay, but they also nailed Spider-Man as a character. That was yeah. one of the most important things that they had to, and they landed it. They landed it so well. Right. I've seen, uh, Yuri. Yeah. Lowenthal, who was the voice of. Spider-Man, yep. he actually, he was having an interview. He's like, guys, like, the higher-ups at, at Marvel are, are blown away by yeah. gameplay for Spider-Man. Too. Like, they cannot believe their eyes. So I, I think when he knows that they have the goods. And with right. Spider-Man 2, they know that it's going to be a masterpiece hit and everyone's going to love it. Yeah. So, oh, so this is another crazy thing you just reminded me of. Remember last time we were doing uh, something and I told I talked about how I thought it would be cool for Insomniac to make like a Daredevil game in their yes. Spider-Man universe? Mm -hmm. So I saw a video about it on YouTube earlier about someone who had like a similar idea and they said some rumor about the fact like that um, Daredevil is in fact on Insomniac's radar. No, not really? that they are not that they're making anything or are planning to, but that there was like some rumors or whatever that they had Daredevil on their mind and whatnot. 
Mm-hmm. So that 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 would be cool. I would really love to see a Daredevil video game, especially from oh, Insomniac. Love- oh yeah, okay. that'd be that'd be kind of neat. I'm and I'm kind of think- that's why I'm like really interested in like when he when he announced Wolverine. I'm like Insomniac oh, with yeah. a Wolverine oh, yeah. type game. I was like sign me up and all like the details we got for us like Insomniac. it's gonna be it's gonna be a linear story driven game it's gonna have blood it's gonna be mature i might sign me up yeah and now convinced guys that insomniac they're gonna nail every single marvel superhero video game they are because yeah. what they do with spider-man dude, they're gonna do the same thing with wolverine that's amazing and i want the gore there i i, I want to play as a real berserker wolverine you know oh yeah I want to play you know, so blood sick. everywhere, splatter, <laughs> you know? Yeah, you really <laughs> need that oh freaking Logan uh, aggression that. there. You really need that. Dude, so, yeah, man, I, I have very high hopes for that. Yeah, and I did uh, I did make a Wolverine video. It was a while ago. It was like last year and I, or a year before. It's it been a while. Um, mm-hmm. but I talked about how I want to, like, I want a uh, linear, story-driven uh, game, of course, mature and some blood. But I also said this too. I said I would love it if they went have like a back, have a, like a back expanded backstory on Logan as a character. Like everything right. he's gone through. Like why you know why is he Wolverine? Like why is he does? Why does he do what he does? Origins. And stuff like that. Like I want them to expand upon it. That way, people you know make an insomniac twist to it because they done that with Spider Man and Miles Morales. It's like if they do that. Man, people are gonna say this is one of the best Wolverine games I ever played. Like, it's it's gonna be great. Yeah, and uh, yeah. with Wolverine, what I really want to see Insomniac do is, you know, I know obviously they're probably gonna take a little bit of inspirations from X Men Wolverine, X Men Origins. Oh, they, they will. They will. Right. Uh, it was an X Men game, I believe, that released. If you know, like I don't I don't know how long ago, but they're definitely gonna take his inspiration, and I. I want it to be as realistic and grounded as possible. Um, and I, I want him, like, tearing off limbs, you know, like, grabbing, you know, like, going inside his heart and, you know, grabbing outside and just real Wolverine style, you know? Well, oh, I yeah. don't, it depends how, like, it depends how far I saw wants Sonya to go that way. And family, family studio, obviously, with Spider-Man and Ratchet and Clank and a Sunset Overdrive. I think they need to do... Something with it. Sunset Overdrive as an IP. Wait, they did that. Sunset Overdrive? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah they that's did. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. And that was like one of their like mature games they they made. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty mature. Um, but I never yeah, played no, them. I, I seen clips like of them. I was like, man, this is made by Insomnia. I was like, this is not definitely their ballpark, but but yeah, people like to see that IP come back in some way. But absolutely, they're working on Spider Man and, and also, Wolverine and before I forget. Obviously, we know. I want a John Wick video game so badly. I want it so badly. Man. <laughs> oh man! Yeah. And, like, oh, that that'd be, that'd be so great you know, because like over like maybe oh, like over the shoulder or something or. You know, it needs to be. It cannot be a first person. It needs to be a no, third person it action will. adventure shooter. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. It's gonna be. It's gonna be like almost like it's almost gonna be like almost like God of War third person. Yeah. You're gonna yeah. be behind. You're gonna be high, behind John Wick, but so, during mm-hmm. except for during cinematics where he's doing all these, doing all these stunts and like, and although I wouldn't be opposed to like a first person John Wick game either, because like the 007 games are pretty cool. Yeah. Um, oh, I miss I miss I miss James Bond games from old days. Yeah. Fire up <laughs> Golden yeah. Eye on my N64. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah, but definitely. Yeah. I, I definitely, I well, definitely you know, can't Lion's wait. Is looking for a triple A publisher to make a John Wick game. My question is to you guys: Who do you think will pick up this IP and actually develop a John Wick game? Uh, it's honestly a good question. Um. Ah, uh, I don't know. Because it's Lionsgate, right? The closest th- th- thing we've seen to like a, a like a John Wick game is Max Payne Three. That's true. That's the closest thing. Um, but yeah, man, I, I want to see that so bad. Oh, like, Sony! I know Sony likes if they see an idea they really like. Because remember that, remember that game, uh, Lost Soul Side. 
that's made by one guy. Like, he, he's not no longer making mm -hmm. a game by himself anymore. Sony is so interested in that game, they said, hey, don't worry about it, we're going to fund you. We're going to give you some uh, employees to help you with the game, and uh, yeah, I guess that's going to be a PlayStation 5 IP now. Like, no, right. as, Sony, as Sony catches on, smells, they go, I smell money with John Wick. If Keanu, <laughs> we can get Keanu Reeves as John Wick. Like, oh, man. holy crap, let's do it. You know, awesome. Microsoft can, they can they can have Cyberpunk and, and Keanu Reeves, but we're going to have Keanu Reeves <laughs> and John Wick. Oh, yes. No so more bad. Johnny Silverhand. We're going to have, uh, yeah, John Wick. Yeah. <laughs> So, so Sony likes that. Sony would love. Like Sony would love to do that, and they know how to do like a story-driven, like a story-driven game. The only thing we got to think of is like, does Sony have a studio that can handle? Oh, other than, <laughs> Guerrilla Games did do, uh, uh, Killzone. They do do Killzone, so I guess Guerrilla Games could handle a John Wick, because they have that that you know ex expertise, uh, experience. But, but yeah, I can see other like absolutely. Naughty Dog. They know how to use guns in their games. I mean, I can see yeah. Naughty Dog picking that up. Oh, but yeah. it depends how busy they are, though. Too. Oh my god, that would be awesome. It'd be cool. cool. Yeah. I can't see Santa Monica making a uh, a shooter game because they're so focused no, on can't. you know axes and like like, God of War, God of War yeah. Chains of War. Mm -hmm. you know. I feel like even even with as good as it would be as a Naughty Dog game there would be a bit of lack in the gunplay, because, like, if you get a, a John Wick game, you'd probably want, like, the gameplay to feel very action-packed. Yeah. And Naughty oh, Dog yeah. is definitely more of, like, a cinematic playthrough. And that's not a bad yeah. thing at no, all. No, no, like, it's not. Um, But they're definitely, their gameplay is more supportive of the story rather yeah. than, like, you know, having more action packed and direct gameplay. So yeah, you would want uh, you would want a, a studio that though. knows how to handle the I mean, gunplay um, aspects. And that's uh, and that's Gorilla Games. Uh, they done killer I mean, yeah. kill zones. So. I feel like they um I, I, I unfortunately I think I'm gonna have to disagree with you a little bit on this side, right? Yeah, I mean, it's no problem, right? To have a conversation. Right. But, um play Uncharted two because that game was so action packed. And like, oh, no, no, definitely. It's not that I think they can't. Yeah. You know, like, the yeah, action it's... sequences. I mean, like, there's one scene where Nathan Drake jumps off of a moving train and he's hanging on and, he, and he's shooting people. I'm like, dude, that's so sick, you know? Like, right. and, and Wait, that about... reminds me of Uncharted 4. Wait a minute there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, shit! Definitely that I can't. I don't, th like, yeah. I don't think that they can't do it. It's just like it would definitely be more of a uh, like e expanding a little out of their uh, comfort zone, uh, so to speak. Yeah, you know what I mean. It'd be a little bit different than Some, what you usually one of, do. One of the PlayStation Studios is going to have to take up the challenge and say, you know what, we haven't really done a whole lot of this. You know, just a you know John Wick action pack with just none but gunplay. But like, right? Yeah, somebody be like, yeah, we're willing to try it because they. They got they got ex expertise and experience, but but I, I don't see like I can't see like Microsoft picking it up. I mean Microsoft's got too much on their hands as it is. Um, mm -hmm. And like so, who else we got? The Embracer the group, the whole Activision, you know, Tencent. Activision Blizzard. Oh my god, it's a freaking, disaster. Freaking Konami. What's going on <laughs> now with Activision Blizzard? What happened now? Because they oh, they man. always seem to be into something. And uh, I've had my Twitter account suspended for the past, like, week because I got really? hacked or whatever. Yeah, I, oh I ended God. up getting hacked. I didn't do nothing. I just got hacked by some guy who was NFT scamming with my account. So I, I was like, it, it got suspended. Mm -hmm. So I've been missing out on a bit of the gaming news. So what did Activision do, do now? What did they do now? Okay, I'm going to start this off. I, I got the freshest mind about that. Um, I, I got an article that I... Had on Discord. I, I don't know if I can pull it out. It's been a while, but they were saying that the CMA, which is part of UK government thing, and um, at first everybody knew, kind of knew that they were kind of against it. They had to look into it, say, "Hey, wait a minute. You know what? What are you offering? What's what should deal with Call of Duty? Are mm -hmm. you going to allow it to be on other platforms?" So they were against it, right? They was going along with Sony, but after right. doing a lot of digging and stuff, uh, CMA actually says, "You know what? I do see." what you're trying to do and i don't see why we have to block it so they are they are approving it 
for Microsoft. So that's a huge step for Microsoft now. Like the deal is going to be probably done. So okay. that's why Sony, as a lot of rumors about Sony and the PlayStation showcase going to be coming around before E3. Um, and that's why like Sony's starting to like marketing things a little bit more. And like Square Enix is like early today, like Yoshi P let slip. He's like, you know, he's like, yeah, you, need, you know, it's, Final Fantasy 16 is is all you know not possible without the power of the PlayStation 5. He says this this beauty right here. He's tapping down the head. He's like this beauty right here. This the power of the PlayStation 5. He says that's the reason why this game is made for for the power. You know, it's like sounds like a Sony rep reputation or uh, representative, does, yeah. right? It's like, like are you working for Sony? And like even Yoshi P made a joke. It's like wait. Is our name Square Enix or Sony? It's not Sony, is it? <laughs> it's like Square Enix. Yeah, yeah. and, and a guy in his, oh, yeah. his localization yeah. director guy spoke up goes, We love you, Sony. <laughs> <laughs> Power uh, to PlayStation 5. It's like, now people are like saying, Wait a minute. Are they hinting something? Is like uh, Sony yeah, yeah. interested in buying them or something? Because they're like acting like Sony representatives now. It's like, Here, yeah, power to really PlayStation nervous. 5. It's all possible it's because of Microsoft the PlayStation 5. Actually. February that comes yeah, um, and we know obviously. Okay. Lion, he's been you know, uh, c- constantly declining, saying no. We don't want this deal to go through. How many times do you have to explain this, Microsoft? We want to block your merger. We don't want any deals. We don't want Call of Duty. Uh, no. Yeah. We want Call of Duty to remain a third party game. Yeah, we don't want and, it to be and then, like uh, behind right. hidden doors, even Jim Ryan is like, we're here to block. We're here to block your freaking deal. We're not here to make deals. But like, that's why we're here. Right. We're here to want to cancel it. But apparently, that's like a huge blow to like Sony. Either they're going to have to just like end up just saying, you know what, we tried our best, we fought it to the end, and just like have to let the merger go. Or they have to change up their game plan a little bit, which it's going to be extremely hard now since the UK is basically saying we approved the deal. That's a huge blow to Sony keeping Call of Duty, you know, away from being a Microsoft thing. Like Activision right. Blizzard. For so sure. now it's like Sony, you got choices here because you got Final Fantasy 16 coming up, which Yoshi P and them are handling their business. That's Square Enix thing. But Square we don't Enix. know, like, F- Spider Man 2 is coming out in like less than like six months. Like, we right. saw one trailer in the last two years, year and a half or so. It's like, we need to see more on this game before it comes out because you're going to have the same issue you did with God of War Ragnarok. Everybody's going to like, this game's delayed. We're not going to see anything of it. We saw a trailer over a year ago. Like, Santa yeah, Monica's yeah. not saying anything. You and, know, it, the but, same thing happened with uh, God of War Ragnarok, because I was so excited for that. I'm like, uh, Santa Monica, what's going on? You know, we haven't heard anything about this. It's been, right. like, a year and a half since you should... However... You should anything. However, here's the good news. Because of Twitter... Because uh, the voice actor for Venom, he came out with a little oh, statement. Yeah. Because he stated that, oh yeah, um, yeah, Spider-Man 2 is coming out in September. Oops. Right. Oops, Oops. I'm not supposed to say that. And some other guy, <laughs> some other guy had a post, and Samyak deleted it. He told him, hey, you need to delete this. Because he was saying, okay, the game's coming out in September. We're going to have heavy right. marketing in August. Like, they had they had a list of stuff that Insomniac's got planned for Spider-Man 2 before release. Okay. And, and it got deleted. The tweet got deleted. Like, Insomniac's like, nope, do not say that. Oh, yeah. So there's there's some, there's some yeah. you know, good and then, news. And then even recently, that. like, the voice actor for Miles Morales and Peter Parker for Spider-Man and Miles Morales, he's like, he's he chatting back down. and forth. They <laughs> said, they said yeah. these guys, nobody's nobody's ready for this game, are they? They start chatting back and forth. They say, oh, no, they're not ready for this at all. They're not ready for what we got in school. Yeah. I'm still excited for it, though, because, like, man, yeah. there's, like, people, I mean, especially since the first games came out, people are like, there's so much we could go, like, there's so many places we could go with this. Right. Hell, there's so many, like, villains still available, you know yeah, what I mean? Insomniac, and it's like, I, I even saw someone tweet about this. Yep. So, uh, someone tweeted at Insomniac, hey, Insomniac, we should get a solo Venom game. And then Insomniac posts, uh, like an emoji, this emoji right here. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <Maybe. laughs> so I'm like, oh, is this confirmation? Right. Um, 
but yeah, there's there's like so much. The way I think about it is kind of the 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 Spider Man, the first Spider Man game makes me really think of like it's a modern version of Spectacular, where it really does show love for like Parker and the villains and like what everybody really loves and celebrates about Spider Man. Um, and so like always, I've been thinking about it, and I think it's really kind of cool that they're doing something with Craven the Hunter. Because that's not something you see, oh, yeah. especially yeah. in modern day. Is Craven the Hunter actually going to be in Spider-Man 2? Or... I think so. Wasn't that... Like, really? we had we heard the guy's voice in that trailer, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. That's right. Oh, my God. And, yeah, and I, I saw some I saw some stuff about, like, yeah, Cra- uh, Craven being in it. Yeah. yeah. I guess Craven's also getting a movie later this year. Which is interesting, Ooh. but I just saw that online earlier. Huh. Um, That's interesting. I want. But yeah, I also heard that there's going to be a, a small segment you get to play as a third character as well. So like, oh, interesting. And, and Spider Man too. So M- and everybody's like, oh no, not no, not no, no more MJ stealth missions, right. please. No, no more I MJ. Hate MJ, dude. My money's on. I'm gonna just come out and say I didn't mind the MJ stuff so much, but maybe that's just because I'm a Metal Gear fan. <laughs> I like stealth I, games. I kind of like that. Yeah, I didn't have any issue. But yeah, like, yeah, nice, yeah, on, nice view. Oh, my money's on Wraith being playable because, like, we know oh, Yuri yeah. Watanabe in the DLC kind of took off and took up the mantle of Wraith, and it even says it on the wiki and stuff that she's like she became Wraith at the end of those DLCs and whatnot. So, oh yeah. My money's going to be on Wraith being as a new playable character. Uh, that or so. Venom. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be neat. I, I'm pretty sure we're going to get some gameplay with Venom because they got to add something yeah. new because everybody's know if you play Spider-Man and Miles Morales, it's like, I understand like the moveset of both Spider-Man. So if they gave us Venom with like, a whole different moves, uh gameplay aspects, yeah. like that's going to be sick. Like, they got to add stuff. Like, 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 just like, shit, just like God cool. of War Ragnarok. We all go, okay, we're going to be playing as Kratos, and then so, oh, no, you're going to play as Atreus for a little while. It's like, this, right. wow, really it's like, crazy. that's yeah. nuts. Like, I don't know, Speaking what of Ragnarok, we saw that whole thing about T- the TMNT game, right? Oh, yeah. yeah Issa brought that up to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was looking at it. It still baffles me that people are still complaining about God of War Ragnarok being, quote, too cinematic. It, really? Like, oh, my. Yeah, I was, reading, I was reading the comments, and people were like, TMNT game, good. Inspired by God of War, bad. It's like, really? Oh Why? Dude, like, for me, that's actually good news, you know? I, well, just... I like that it's being inspired by God of War. That's cool. Yeah. But yeah. for people to go out of their way and hate it, just because it's inspired by God of War, like, come on. Yeah. Come on, guys. Like, well, it, if you guys want to know, if you guys want to know, they actually came out and said it. Final Fantasy 16 is actually inspired by God of War. That's it's, awesome. ins- it's inspired yeah, by that and game. DMC5 because I saw the gameplay oh, yeah. footage of uh, Final Fantasy 16. It's like the camera, the way like the camera behind Clive is similar to God of War. Like how the, diff- the des- level design is similar to God of War in a way. Like I'm seeing a lot of aspects of that. Like, and to be honest with you guys, a lot of people are kind of mad about this, but you gotta get over that. Final Fantasy 16 is gonna be a cinematic story-driven game, but you're gonna have a lot of right. gameplay. It's like you got a thirty-five, like thirty-five hours of game, total game, right? Unless you want to complete it, which is about seventy-five hours. You got yeah. eleven hours of that cinematics cutscene. Right. There's a good, yeah, yeah. It was literally like I was looking into it. There's like, you know, something like nine hours of cinematic cutscenes in God of War, and then compared to the like forty plus hours of gameplay, and yeah. it's like really, it's a walking simulator. It's a interactive movie, really. Okay. There's a really good video by the YouTuber Dumbsville about, like, the question that are video games getting too cinematic? Uh, And, like, uh, it's a really good video because it kind of explores that. Honestly, all those people, they're just PlayStation haters. They're they're like, oh, guys, we're so sick and tired of these interactive movies. What did you say? Interactive what? Again, interactive movie. I'm like, dude, give me a fucking break. Give me a fucking break with these people. <laughs> people who are saying this are probably Xbox. That's like, if you don't want to start driven games, play, go play like uh, GT7 or something like that. Go play a racing game. 
Yeah, go, for go, go, go play. Duty, well, go play, wait a minute. Play, Does games. wait? They can't play fighting have, games. It's got cinematics in it, right? Cinematic yeah. finishers. They can't play those though. <laughs> yeah. Which I'm actually quite excited for Street Fighter Six too, because yeah. like I got I got Street Fighter Five on launch because I was into fighting games at the time, and I remember like being severely disappointed when that shit came out. But like I yeah. heard that they're gonna be like fixing that. And, and yeah, stuff about Street and Fighter 6. I'm not I'm not huge on fighting games, but I saw on sale. I saw a sale for MK11 and Injustice yeah. 2 Ultimate Bundle for you get all the you get all the fighters and stuff for like twenty bucks. I'm like I sold. Yeah, I love Injustice 2. It's definitely not the best like fighting game UI out there. Yeah, but like it it has like really cool stuff in it like the characters are cool yeah uh, it's fun gameplay you know the story mode is really cool i like the injustice storyline yeah you know i like it and uh, okay uh since we're talking about fighting games kind of um yeah. because one of the characters are in mk11 that's uh robocop yep oh man just i i i haven't seen the trailer yet but everybody's saying this is like they're making a robocop game and it's inspired really? by the yeah, 80s right? Yeah, oh, it's inspired by That's the 80s good. movies. I'm all ears, guys. Like, okay, 80s RoboCop game. That'll be cool as hell. Yeah, like, just think about, like, everything that happens in the 80s RoboCop, like, all the aesthetics, everything else. It's like, they're going to hit that. Is it a AAA game? No, it's a double-A game. So if it's there not... Was a, yeah. If there was, like, any movie uh, from the 80s and 90s era, like... That I would like to see as like a video game. Yeah. I'd love to see like a Blade Runner video game. I think that would be oh, so dude. cool. Oh, that'd be you sick. Know what I said I want a Ghost Rider game. Insomniac, oh, please. Cool. Insomniac, please give us a Ghost Rider game, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'd be sick. That'd yeah, be sick to see be. some of these like eighties movies come to life and especially in modern day graphics of games and stuff oh, yeah. like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Like because imagine like, imagine like a ramble like a ramble like cinematic video game. That'd be cool. And you guess the rest of this alone, okay. he can still voice act. It's like we need to voice act these lines. You don't have to do any mocap because you know you're up there right. in age. But imagine him just be like, you know, saying his usual lines and be like, oh man, so sick. And say what say what you want about like AI deep fakes and whatnot, but I, I feel like it would definitely make it easier to capture like somebody's likeness in a video game. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Oh yeah. There definitely need to be like regulations before using somebody's likeness but i feel like it would also help with those actors who might be older or can't you know aren't adjusted to the mocap and whatnot right and people tell me it's like dude you need to check out the latest unreal engine 5 videos they got out there yeah, like showcases people cool. said that the animation and stuff is like nuts it's like yeah. realistic as crap i was like i gotta get get around to them i might even do like reaction videos to them i don't know we'll see how i, I feel was watching yeah, yeah. I just watched a, a video by Strixo on YouTube who did a something about the Unreal Engine. And the topic of the video was like, you know, how it's kind of problematic or, or not problematic, wrong word, or like kind of a concerning uh, way to think about is like the hire this man mindset where it's like you see a tech demo and then immediately just it's like. Unreal Engine is so technological technologically advanced that even the developers to this day they don't they know how to develop i mean right they're they're getting there but it's so d difficult because yeah. like and it's come to so find out i saw a list i wish i knew, i wish i could see the list but some right. of the playstation studios are actually mm -hmm. using unreal engines right now oh that's cool no, yeah. i i kind of want to learn it because eventually i want to get around to trying to make my own game Oh, uh, like, maybe maybe with the help of a couple friends. Yeah. But, um, eventually, I want to get into that whole thing because um. Yeah. Man, I, I took I took uh I took game like, development, development back in high school and I wasn't technical like you yeah. had to put in all these like it's different hard, it's words hard. and and like coding and stuff so, like I can't do this. My uh back in high school, my D and D club instructor was the video game design teacher, and oh, I kind of cool. like watched over a couple of his classes. And they did, like, Python and whatnot. They remade, like, Tetris from scratch in that class. And I wish I took it because it looked cool, but it was definitely yeah. some hard work. 
So like massive respect goes out to like programmers and video game devs. Yeah, I, I just like I, I, I can imagine so working for like companies like that and be like even so just so hands on, like they're... not like coding and stuff. But and they're, yeah. saying, and they're saying like you know like like these fans they're demanding the release dates. Like hey, Santa Monica, give us the release date. I forgot. I'm like guys, guys. Right. Where's your humanities? You know, right. where's your humanity? Where's your love? The, the least you can do is treat these people like human beings that they are. Because I don't think many people realize this. Game designers and game developers, they right. have a lot to do, you know? Like, they, yeah. they can't always work on this game, work, work, work. You know, they, you got to remember, these game designers have families. Yeah. You know, you gotta go back to the and it's, and it's, yeah, and it's bad it's enough that industry. crunch is involved already. Exactly. I was just like, about to say, like, crunch time is terrible in that industry. It is. Like, and like Naughty Dog's like, like and they're like uh, notorious for that. Don't feel pressured. Delay it. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Like I know, especially from like PlayStation Studios, I've seen PlayStation Studios like guys. Patience equals quality. If you want yeah. the best quality games, that's right. why I think. I mean, imagine how awful in State of God of War Ragnarok launched last year, which was supposed right. to release in twenty twenty one. But and imagine, it just would have been that. Yeah, it, would, it, it wouldn't have been as good as it was. No, dude. And that's why a lot of respect to indie devs because they do have Absolutely. the freedom to take their time and wait and like make the game on their own time. Like, I mean, the creator of Stardew Valley, I mean, Stardew Valley's massive. It was all made by one guy, every part of it. And, like, he still works on it to this day, even while working on his new game. It's really inspiring, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And just, like, I've seen, I seen a couple behind the scenes, like, how game developers, like, work and how, how stressed they are about how's, you know, how the crowd's going to take their game, like, on review days. Like, they're they're so nervous. Like, they're they're almost sweating buckets yeah. like just watching like uh like raising cradles like behind that like getting god of war 2018 out it's like god of war hasn't been around for years like is fans mm-hmm. gonna remember cradles are, are fans gonna remember god of war are they even want a god of war game and like right. uh barlog he's like shaking he's like i don't know like i'm worried like he just is like i hope and it's like and right. then he's just, and he's playing the game for the, the showcase and mass fans is like it's hard to create yeah. something. I never heard that. of God of War. I never heard of God of War before. Yeah, what was God of War? Yeah, what is it? Yeah, what is right. It? <laughs> I, I got to play the first. I got to play the first three with my dad when I was younger. Yeah. Um, and that's like why I thought it was like so cool that they brought it back. Um, yeah. And because... like when I first I I played, um, God of War Ragnarok on his TV. Uh, like for the first time a couple months ago and like it just felt great to wield the blades of chaos again it was so awesome yeah, yeah. especially when you like you don't have to listen to him say boy a thousand boy. times yeah <laughs> and, like it got a war 2018 was fun yeah, but after boy. a while i was like our atreus, atreus like, is starting to get a little annoying and like it's like cradles i know you're trying to get the boy's attention but you don't say it boy 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 like <laughs> calm down and, it, boy you know what like interested i realized he only called him boy once in god of war ragnarok once yeah boy, yeah 2018. like in my opinion look ragnarok is i will say the combat is way better in god of war ragnarok the oh it is so much more beautiful they improved but god of war 2018 in my opinion always be better because it just that feeling that for the first time you know i'm like oh my god this this cinematic action adventure God of War game is it blew my mind, man. It blew my mind. I loved it, you know. Oh yeah. And I can't wait oh, to yeah. see. It's gonna be a, a very interesting day when Santa Monica reveals their new IP, because has Santa Monica, to my mistake, but they haven't made anything outside of God of War, right? Uh no. Um, as far as I know, it's been God of War. I mean, have they released? So have they released anything since before 2018? I I haven't let been. Let me let me check. Uh. Santa Monica Studios. Here we go. Uh, God of War 2018. God of War Ragnarok. Yeah, it's all just God of War. Wow. So it's gonna be a very interesting day. When yeah, it's gonna be it interesting is. day because uh, 
got uh Santa Monica's got a brand new IP to work on, and guess who's the director? Corey oh, Barlog. Oh wait, uh, I never they heard. did the twisted. They, <laughs> they worked external that. development on Twisted Metal. Are they oh, really? Yeah, huh. they have a ton of. Okay, so that's why most of their work library is all in external development. They have a massive library doing that, but they're most known for doing God of War and okay. I guess Connecticut. But that's that's it for their main stuff. Okay, yeah, that's why yeah. because like I I played Twisted Metal years ago, but oh, it's yeah, been it's been it. a long time. Um, Twisted Metal Black, that's the one. Oh yeah. Yeah, and it's just like I vividly remember it being. It's such a such a, a chaotic game. I was like, man, this is so good. But and there's like rumors that they're bringing Twisted Metal back. But who's making it? Who yeah, knows? they're they're making a TV show. Yeah, I, I heard really? about that. Yeah, yeah. so there's I think they're like making a TV show about it. Um, which also reminds me, a lot of video games are getting like TV and movie ad- adaptations. Yeah. And, uh... Speaking of which, this is going to be uh, going to our next topic. The Ghost of Tsushima movie is yeah. being directed by the uh, the director of the John Wick movies, Chad Stahelski. And That's such intense. A, you know, yeah. we saw a John Wick 4 last night, and oh, dude, it blew my fucking sock. Was it good? Dude, it blew my fucking mind. <laughs> like, holy oh, shit, dude, fun it, fact about John Wick 4. You know, Stunt Keanu Reeves, Reeves did ninety percent of his own stunts. Oh, that's I know, cool! Dude, I heard about that. Yeah, ninety percent of his own stunts. Like, that's crazy. How is doing, like, how is Keanu doing this stuff? And I'm like, I'm watching. Those, I'm like, dude, he decapitated someone's heads off. I like tore off someone's tongue, and I'm like, oh my god, dude. Yeah, Relax. walk on the John Wick. You kill his dog. He's coming after you. Yeah. So many good. There's so many good special and practical effects in the John Wick. Oh yeah. Movies. Like, you know, Keanu wow. Reeves reminds me of Jackie Chan in his prime. Did a like, oh, yeah. majority no, of his stuff. very stunts. much so. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's so sick. I, I want to see John Wick 4, but I don't get out much to go to the movies, so I'm just going to wait right. till it comes out. Yeah. They got the I've first three movies. I've been meaning to see some so. of the newer movies. Yeah. Um, yeah, last time Mario I was in the theaters, movies, it was awesome, right? Yeah. Oh, the Mario movie? Yeah. Oh, it looks so oh, freaking good. I'm very excited about oh, that. And, like, uh, it is, it is so better than like the old '90s Mario movie they oh, made. Yeah. Oh my god, that was bad. I unironically kind of love that movie though because yeah. it's got charm. It's got charm. It right? does. It does. It's it's still bad, but like it, it's I love it. Um, and another thing too, Mario movie. I'm with my Dungeons and Dragons group. I'm gonna go see D and D Honor Among Thieves here mm-hmm. next week. Oh, cool. Which is like awesome. Yeah. I've been I've been really excited about that because like I, don't I did know. some research onto it, and I'm a huge D and D fan, and I did some research into it, and like based on what I've seen, they really do care about the IP and stuff because they pulled out yeah. some monsters that haven't been seen in the public eye for years. Oh wow! Yeah, that's gonna be great. And yeah, yeah. Ghost of Tsushima movie. I think I think oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be a banger. And. Um... Yeah. The only problem I got with that, though, the voice that's actor it. for Jen is not going to be playing as Jen. I'm like, it's not? No. Has that been confirmed? That's why I heard. Is that been confirmed? Um, no. I don't know if it's been confirmed, but that's why I'm hearing. I'm like, why? He's he's the voice of Jen. It's really? like, I am Samurai. And, and, what's, and what's so ironic about that is, is he's an actor. He's acted in other live-action movies before. I'm like, yeah. what are you doing, Sony? What are you doing? Now, for now speaking of movies... Or I think it's movie, right? Is God of War a movie or is it a TV show? It's gonna be a TV show. Well, anyways, okay. guess who wants to play as Cradles? Christopher Damn Judge. Yeah, dude, Christopher Judge dude, wants to be yeah. Cradle. <laughs> dude, I'm, he has to be Kratos, dude. If he's yeah. not, I will, uh, dude. I, okay, I if you can do that, then Sonny, Sonny's gotta I be a Treus, right? Huh? Then Sonny's gonna have to play as Treus. I know, dude. And then the woman, that woman, that the woman actress, gonna have to play as Frey. Freya, whatever. Yeah. Christopher <laughs> Judge. Yeah, he's a great, he's a cool guy. It's like boy. Read, yeah, read the winner, boy. Yeah. You don't know what mother wants. Oh, he was in a, a whole bunch of shit. Yeah. yeah. And then there's also the fact that there's still oh stuff about the Horizon TV show. That's supposed to be a thing. <laughs> uh... Oh, you guys hear it? It's supposed to be like a uh, a Jack and Dexter like anime series. 
Oh, that'll be dope. That's cool. Yeah. But yeah, like I heard something a while ago about Horizon getting a TV show or whatever. It's also yeah. That's what I'm hearing. It's also too. getting a DLC. Uh, oh yeah. Around Lance Reddick because Lance Reddick, man, he was he was my favorite character in her in the Horizon games. He was such a phenomenal character, and I loved him as uh, I don't know uh. Giant team, you know, uh, uh, Charon from mm-hmm. John Wick, right? He played Silence, yeah, yeah, I know about him, yeah. yeah. Just rest his soul for oh my God. his loss. Okay, good news is, um, the Horizon TV show is being worked on by some of the crew that did the Last of Us TV show. That's good, that's oh, that's good, good. that's, that's awesome, good. yeah, yeah. I just looked it up, yeah. yeah. Have you played Zero Dawn, by the way? Uh, yeah, I actually have. I'm close to the end. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Play that, mm-hmm. then uh, you got PlayStation Plus? Uh, I don't. I have. To, I still have to fix my old PS4, but I okay. do have, like, I know who has um, the second game as well. Okay. My uncle has it, so I can yeah, play it at his Yeah, definitely, definitely play that, because uh, Horizon yeah, Forbidden West actually takes what Zero Dawn does well, and it, like, makes it better. Improve That's um, what I've heard. Yeah. That's what I've heard. Yeah. And the anima- like really the facial animation is really stiff and like the Zelda Dawn, which because it's a 2016 game. And uh, what the Zelda uh, Forbidden West like the animation is like more natural. I'm like this is great. And the visuals are just drop dead gorgeous. I played it on my 4K TV. The yeah. Mode. I watched oh I watched That's somebody really play uh Horizon uh Horizon Forbidden West on their PS4 and it still looked good. Yeah, dude. Oh my like, god. Yeah. Like it's, it's so exciting. It's it's like and uh, I hope yeah, yeah. Uh, I see that box back there, Jantin. Oh yeah, <laughs> I got the box. <laughs> I wish I, I wish it was uh, I wish it was up here and not in my basement display case. But I have the Tall Neck Lego set. Oh um, man, it is. It was such a cool build too. Like <laughs> it, it, it looks so nice. I imagine, uh, like a lot of people yeah. want to get their hands on, it, but it's really expensive. It, it was it was quite expensive, but what's crazy is is actually for the ideas sets, it's on the lower side. Ah, huh. like yeah, mm-hmm. some of the idea sets that are out there that people want are like super expensive. I know the um the new Razor Crest that's minifigure scale yeah. is like six hundred dollars right now. Oh yeah, Just, I oh, got wow. I got my yeah. figure collections over here. I'm more like Final Fantasy Seven. I got couple yeah. like two three figures of that i got cradles and a tray of statues and i got a bit the big uh mammoth looking uh machine enemy oh, from horizon yeah. in the west i got that statue that's why i got right that on. box right here <laughs> yeah so, like, i got way too many expensive hobbies man oh yeah <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah i just oh my god i want crazy. nuts last year with I my, D&D, with my setup, so. lego video games um i'm a musician by trade uh, I can see that you got your electric guitar it, back there. Oh yeah, yeah. My one of my basses is hanging up on the wall nice. right there. Nice. Um, yeah. I got I got a little acoustic guitar. I just bought that something cheap to work out. Oh, that's little. awesome. Yeah, yeah, my my yeah. Most of my instruments are downstairs in my basement right now because that's where I do most of my uh, right. writing and recording. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, yeah. I'm. I looked up a list of like upcoming shows and movies here. Huh. Oh yeah, they're making a Dune part two. I'm very hyped for I'm, that. Uh, I'm really interested oh. to see how the uh, Ghost of Tsushima movie is because oh, the, can't wait. the story of Ghost of Tsushima, like, dude, I I was in tears by the end of that game. It's the way of the warrior. Oh my I'm, God, I'm it, still kind of blown away at the fact that I still haven't played it yet because. <laughs> uh, oh, you should. I'm like super into samurai stuff too. Oh, dude! Um, you no, should because they even they even have a mode where you can play like and you know the Black Japanese like they fix the, the Japanese style. voiceover. Yeah. And guess oh, what? No, yeah, you can play it. You can play in the mode. black and white yes, mode dude. to make it the old samurai to movies honor the effect. Legendary, to honor the legendary Japanese filmmaker Kurosawa, and yeah. you know, Ghost of Tsushima is actually inspired by by Kurosawa. yeah. Yeah, it yeah, was. And I hear, and like you said before, it's like super historically accurate, apparently. It is very Oh, yeah. It's, it's really great, yeah. And it's just the visuals. Oh Even God, on PS4, it blew me away. I'm like, holy crap. 
Like it's so good, and I can't the wait till Ghost of Tsushima Sony too. Has released in the PS4 generation, just oh my god! Like they're the, the best games to ever exist. Like, yeah. <sighs> like it's too many. Like I'm like, Sony, give me a break with these games. Like they're just too good, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's wild. Uh, why do you think they're not releasing ten games a year? I don't know for that. <laughs> Yeah. You get like you get two, maybe three at most. Well, actually, you got four though. So yeah. <laughs> you got shoot, yeah, we got Horizon Forbidden West, Gran Turismo yeah. Seven, uh, The Last of Us Part One, and God of War Ragnarok. That's four yeah. giant titles from Sony. That's a great year last year. That's a good, that was oh a, yeah, it's a year for Sony. I haven't played GT Seven yeah. yet, but people say that's amazing. On PS5. I played all of those games except for GT7. Yeah. Gran Turismo, huh? The last Gran yeah. Turismo I played was back on the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 era. No, that's really? a racing game, right? Yeah. It's like a driving game. It's made by, uh, what's, what's that okay. uh, studio by Sony? I forgot their name. It starts with a P. Polyphony? Yeah, Polyphony. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this looks They're, kind of they they are known they are see. known to have the best looking games on the on every time they release some. But apparently yeah. GT seven didn't nice. blow away Horizon. I guess Horizon from the West blew people away more. Yeah. It still looks good though. Yeah, like the re- the reflections and stuff on PS five, like and, this this looks so and, real. And what blows me away even more is Horizon from the West. It released on PS four. It's not it wasn't only on PlayStation Five. I mean, imagine right. how small and two will look only on. Oh my God, dude! Yeah, with the race tracing on the buildings and everything. Oh my God, man! It's it's hell insane. yeah. Well, it's just like, like when I played Miles Morales on uh, PS Five, and they had like the ray tracing on. They had a middle mode. You can play sixty FPS with ray tracing on. I was like, mm-hmm. I sat, I sat there for like a half hour just spinning him around, the character around, just seeing all the reflections off his suit. I just, oh, I yeah. couldn't, I couldn't oh, get off that screen. Beautiful. Oh my god! It's like, man, I just can't wait. Can't wait for like all these games are coming out. Like, just so good. Um, yeah, and I'm guys. I said this. I'm so excited for Naughty Dog's new fantasy IP that 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 they're working on. That's gonna be so amazing. I'm, and I, I'm what I'm what I'm hearing it. about that too is they're gonna they're gonna show that game off like this year. Are you kidding me? Like. I guess during like the PlayStation yeah. Showcase, yeah, they're gonna sh- they're gonna show it off. Like they are ready oh, to show something about God, it, dude. along with the the last was, uh part uh Fractions. not part three, but the multiplayer. And I'm also hearing stirs that since the last was TV show did extremely well, and part two is coming out for season two, season three, and everybody's gonna start recording it later on this year for season two. Um, yeah. Neil Druckmann say, like, "All right, we have to start." Doing pre-production of The Last of Us Part Three. Oh yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Um, I don't know if it's true or not, but that'd be cool, dude. Yeah. dude I can't imagine what the, the the story will be in Last of Us Part Three because it's gonna it's gonna involve it's gonna involve having a closure with Ellie. You don't know Probably. that. You don't know that. You don't know. I'd that. I'd love to see like some stuff with like a, a grown-up, adult, mature Ellie, yeah. like. I'd love to see. Yeah, that if they if they want to do like a time skip, like, like she's in her like forties or fifties, maybe she's got a way to. I, I know her her fingers are gone. We already know about that. Um, her two right. fingers. But maybe she's found a way to. She's able to adapt, or she's got a way to like make couple extra metal fingers that she can. Oh yeah, I can imagine. I got I mean, a buddy who's. I got a buddy who's missing these two fingers. He's got yeah. two really? prosthetics. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, um, he lost one. He lost one in a fight, and then he lost the other one to a garage door. Oh no! Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, it's entirely possible. But but yeah. you know what? There's another way they can go too. Maybe uh, maybe the LA side of things is over with, but we don't know what happened to Love and Abby towards the end. I know they're going to go to Santa Barbara and look for the fireflies, but that was it. We don't know anything. Boy. And you got to remember uh, what Neil said. He he said. Um, hey, we might not make a part three. Part two, um, you know, we're happy with the ending of part two. So part three doesn't Oh, he happen. is. That's what he said. That's what Neil Druckmann said. Yeah. And it's interesting because day uh, nineteen, I talked to you about this, but Pedro Pascal and Neil Druckmann were spotted talking 
about The Last of Us Season 2 at a coffee shop. Yeah. What? Yeah, they are. Like, they're not afraid to talk about it. It's already been confirmed. Like, yeah. uh, Bella Ramsey, she's ba- she's back. She's going to play as Ellie. I mean, she's already 19. By the time we see her face again, she'll be recording yeah. this. She'll be almost 20. I mean, yeah. a little bit of makeup, make a little, like like they did with uh, Pedro, pa- Pedro, however his name is. Yeah. Uh, Pedro Pascal. Yeah, yeah. They made him, he looked like he was in his in his 30s back in season, yeah. episode one. And then later, oh, time skip. Make yeah. a little makeup, make a little older, and it's like there we go. Yeah, it's incredible what they can do with. Um... Yeah. Oh, he's Chilean. Oh, yeah. Huh. I thought it. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Anyway, um, yeah, Jose Pedro, Jose Pedro Bal- Masita Pascal. I hope I didn't butcher that. Just check the hmm. foreign actor. Interesting. Pedro. Oh, he's almost fifty already. I didn't realize that. Okay, so what we saw in the time skip is actually his uh his hair and that. They just washed off the the yeah. dye, whatever. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, so he looked a lot younger, like yeah, it's just that's cool. Like everybody's so worried like they're gonna have to get a new Ellie voice actor and that voice mm-hmm. I go, no they don't. Right. She's nineteen no, guys. Really. She's gonna it's be twenty when years. she starts filming. Like relax. Twenty five year time jump, like relax, guys. <laughs> Yeah, that's not like she's hey, 14 and say, hey, you have to grow up in five years in a hurry. Like, put some makeup on. Grow a beard or something. Right. right. <laughs> put some high heels on. <laughs> she's going to be fine. And uh, whoever's going to play as Abby, well, I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready for the uh, backlash. The backlash. <laughs> well, we already saw the artwork. We already saw the, yeah. the image of, like, the big old fist with a hammer. It's like, you know. Oh might not God. be a golf club. Might be just a hammer. Just go, boing, 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 boing. I'm going to... Pray for that Abby actor, man. I'm gonna pray for her and her family because she's about to receive some massive. Oh my God, dude! If she, if she has a Twitter account, please, for the love of God, you Abby actor, delete your Twitter. Like you are not ready for the yeah. just hate that you are about to get. <laughs> yeah, it is like it is crazy to me that how like how powerful twitter can actually be in the world of media you know what i mean oh yeah it's just, it happened with uh final fantasy 7 remake uh the voice actor for zach fair like he deleted yeah. all his social media because he's getting threats with him and his family he's like i'm yeah, still voice ridiculous. acting zach but i can't handle this anymore yeah. and people yeah. even if people even there's a one person that was actually uh threatening or even pestering the uh the the writing the writer scenario for final fantasy 7 remake so yeah, how dare you make it. how dare you make the shipping you know like part of story story lore and nice. like I want I want you to make it about Cloud and and this this chick like right. he's going he's like pester him and he end up saying you know what I'm not talking about Final Fantasy Seven my Twitter account anymore I talk about my guinea pigs that's it <laughs> it's on Japanese of course but it's like he's still talking about he's talking about Final Fantasy Seven now but for a while there he would not mention it yeah. It's like I don't blame. Him, it's like you're 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 harassing the writer for Final Fantasy VII. Like it's like, dude, it's like stop making like, threats and, and stuff. You know, like that's why I deleted my Twitter yeah. but, um, this year because I you know whenever I would tweet, dude, because like obviously I'm a PlayStation fan. People are like. You're such a fanboy. Like yeah. you, you always praise. You always it is. Praise, it, it's wild to me how guys, mad I'm people just giving my video games. Can you relax. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can you, can you relax, please? Oh, and, and the sure, ship, man. the shipping wars in Final Fantasy VII community. I'm in. They're going back and forth about who's this, who's that. Like the books, and they're all going over the books yeah. and all that. It's like guys, just I don't even read oh, it. Yeah. I just scroll past it. It's like you guys can do your thing. I'm just here to oh, like yeah. a few posts and. Get excited you know what just about just totally just yeah. popped into my head. What is the fact that we're getting a whole new Witcher trilogy? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the Witcher, the Witcher. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just we're getting crazy. new Witcher games and shit, which is so cool. Yeah, like Witcher okay. Four is coming. They're making a Witcher remake. Yep. Which like, is which is really cool. And I like the of course, Witcher they series. got the expansion for Cyberpunk coming. But here's the oh, thing: that's true. they're even talking about a, a sequel for Cyberpunk coming out. I know. I want yeah. to give Cyberpunk a shot now that it's been a little while because I know it was buggy on launch. But it's, I did it's, watch it's Edge fixed. Runners. 
It's fact. I watched Edge Runners, and that made me like really want to give the game a shot because I want more of Night City. Yeah. You know. But yeah. It's 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 fact. It's a lot more. Yeah. It's a lot more alive. There's there's maybe a couple bugs. But it's not like oh no, this right. game's. It's like funny bugs. As you see, right, and he's yeah. like, oh, I I overlook it, but. Now the game is a lot better. It looks better, plays mm-hmm. better. I I pre-ordered the game played because of on... the hype, and I got burnt on PS4. I'm like, yeah. Oh. I played it on, you know, obviously, got an upgrade for PlayStation Five. Yeah, for free. Yeah, absolutely. And that runs, dude, very smooth, 60 FPS. Oh my god. Oh yeah. It's amazing, dude. It looks great. It runs fantastic. It really does. Yeah. I still gotta finish that too. I just. Like the game, the I guess the combat, like far as like the shooting, that it's not really as 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 clean. Like they're not like CD Projekt Red is not known for shooting games, so like their uh, attempt at like an, a a first person RPG element like shooting game is like I don't know, it's all right, but it's not like Call of Duty, of course. But well, no, um, I think I like driving though. Driving that game's fun. Oh hell yeah! Stuff um, we gotta turn the corner. Me, like, oh shit! <laughs> Missed it. Um, it reminds me a lot of the driving in Far Cry Six. Uh, was it? Oh, like, I started was playing it? that. That's pretty fun. How'd you like it? Is, it? is it good? I mean, what I've played of it, I I got through a couple missions. I was getting tired of that a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty fun. But right, yeah, yeah uh, dri- riding, controlling that horse is a little a little goofy. And I swam, I swam across the like the lake or ocean. I was like, "What the heck's biting yeah. me?" I looked underneath the water, got like five sharks chasing me. Really? I almost died. I got ran ran this inlet, and I said, "Who about a heel?" <laughs> <laughs> Don't go through but, um, water. Yeah. I was acting like Skyrim, well, just just swimming. I mean, right. <laughs> so yeah, um, obviously you guys heard of uh, Metal Gear Solid Three. I'm a huge Metal Gear fan. I love it. Yeah, I heard the remake's Dude, coming. Because, like, you know, I'm a huge Konami fan. Like, I love everything that they do. Like, Silent you know, Hill but, 2 remakes come out this year? Oh, dude. On I PS5? Oh, man. <laughs> dude, Jansen, you're getting me so excited right now. But then Metal Gear Rising is, might be in the works, too. I don't know. I've been really? hearing about that, too. Yeah, yeah, I did hear about that. Like, yeah. a whole... Yeah, deal with Metal Gear Rising. I'd love to see that. Yeah, for I wanna sure. I want to see a Metal Gear. I want to see a Metal Gear. And series. and there's some That's people are right. excited for Death Stranding too. There's a lot of people that kind of fell yeah. off, but a lot I'm of people are excited it right for it. I know you post that video, go peeing and and uh, Death Stranding. Yeah. You can actually take a piss in the game, dude. I'm I'm I'm, I'm not even trolling with you, dude. Hey, just, just saying, Old School did it first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah it's flush when you're done. Just like, dude, you press R2, you pull down your pants, and then you, you, you gotta press L2, and then you start shooting. <laughs> You feel it through the haptic feedbacks and adaptive triggers? Yes, dude, I can. I I can feel the haptic feedback like when I no. press it. I can feel the resistance and the piss like, coming out. Dude. That's terrible. Why would you do that, <laughs> Ko- uh, Kojima? Like, he's, like, he's, oh, you know he's, what? he's he's unique. He's way out there anyway. And adaptive so. trigger to the, the the pissing animation. It's like so. Yeah, they, they want they want players to be immersive, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Is, wow. You learn something new every day, you know? Yep. But yeah, the haptic feedback and adaptive triggers, a lot of people say it's gimmicky, but to me, I think it's one of the best things that they made. Oh my god. Like, especially on like, Dude, um, like uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake demo on PS5, place. like the haptic feedbacks and stuff, I was like, man, I can feel the rickety bridge. I can and feel like the, relotion, the reloading oh, yeah. animation, like no. the shooting and stuff. I remember. And like the roundhouse kicks, I'm like, oh, uh, so satisfying. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I still, I still want to do like the <laughs> soup plaque, so that'd be cool. But yeah, yo, uh, I remember Alpha, when he came over to my place, and he was playing Last of Us Part 1, he's like, oh, the thunder. I could feel the thunder Dude, on the control. It's like, so it's crazy, because like, I, I am <laughs> still not used to like how interactive the dual sense is. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah it like, is. 
the fucking pressure senses in the buttons. That is so cool to me. Like it, it is. brings so much immersion in. Like there's a, such another level of it's immersion. It's like if you, you get know? a PS5, I want you to do this. Everybody's been doing it since 2020. When you yeah. get it, the game comes all automatically pre-installed. It's called Astro's Playroom. Play it. Yes, I do remember. Astro's Playroom is a really cool uh, tech demo. And it's got one of the best references of the game. They reference Final Fantasy Dude, VII back on PS1. I'm telling you, man, you need yeah. to get a PlayStation 5. I like, will, yeah. Must, yeah man. I'm I'll trying to find a steady job here, make some money. Yeah. And, you know, I got to make sure I pay the bills. But, like, yeah, I'm definitely one of the... One of these days, I'll get a PS5. Yeah, and yeah. Then I'll start playing some games. And yeah, that. that's an important thing. Just make sure you got food on the table, roof over your oh, head, yeah. bills paid. Food on the table. I got to work on my music stuff. And yeah. All kinds I know of a lot of people, they go, I got whatever. credit cards. Let's max these things out. Just buy $2,000 right. yeah, no, worth of video games. Smart and, about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. That's how my parents were. It's like, hey, you want the new N- N64? Let's just use our credit card. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah. yeah, you know, it'll it'll happen. And if not, I'll find ways to play them. I usually do. Right. If not, you always go over uh over his house here and play them. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. and Last of Us Part One did come out on PC, so that that's that too. So I might pick that up. Uh, when oh, I and have hey, cash. if you plug in a DualSense on a yep. PC, you can get the haptic feedback. And that Hell yeah. Can... Yeah, Sony did. Sony did make sure that was part of the deal. They said we'll put we'll put the have to feedback. I mean, the DualSense controller on on the PC, but we're gonna make sure that it has the features. Because yeah, yeah. I tried it on the PC. I want a couple of PC games, and it works. For like mm-hmm. that has the DualSense controller features on it. So right, and like, dude, I remember, and like, the Thor fight in God of War Ragnarok when. Chris and Thor lift their hand, dude. I could feel the thunder, like, boom. like the, the, the thunder was on the control. I'm like, dude, this is so immersive, you know? It's it is so immersive and interactive, and it, it just Very heightens the immersive. experience so much more. And oh my god, man, it's just, ugh. and and also in the last was part one, the clickers, like, whenever they do that sound, uh, yeah. I can feel that on the controller, dude. I can feel it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, man. This is, in, like, insane tech, dude. Insane oh, yeah. Insane tech. Insane. It's just, like, I can't wait. I can't wait to see more PlayStation 5 exclusive titles take advantage of it. Yeah. Like, even yeah, Final Fantasy okay. 16, you can feel, like, like Clive and his, and his buddy, like, picking up, like, this heavy gate. You feel, like, how heavy the gate is. Right, and that's gonna be yeah. sick. I can't wait to see whatever mm-hmm. like haptic feedback stuff they add. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's just. Well, yeah, and, yeah. I hope you were, and Spider-Man hope too. You hopefully, enjoy. feel. Hopefully, Spider-Man too. We see, we feel more that the the web swinging, swinging, and the combat yeah. stuff like that. Because the web swinging and Miles Morales on PS5 was fine. Like you feel a little, a little right. bit, but he didn't feel like when he draws out his web like fully. You don't feel mm-hmm. that full of feel. The full effect, just a little little right. rumble. It's just like they could do cool a little better on like that. A, it'd be cool to have like a reaction when you fall down to the, your lowest point while you're swinging. Have there be like a <laughs> little resistance or bounce when you pull back. I remember. Yeah. Uh, I was playing uh, Death Stranding. Yeah. Uh, you know, like you like you're you have a baby when you shake the baby and he makes me it's like oh, you can feel it on the dual sense like when you shake that's the funny. baby oh man that's that's, that's, that's that sounds like really <laughs> everybody's Ooh. crying or or sense. i'd be sweet if you like swing a roy fast throughout the city of spider-man 2 you feel the wind on the oh dual sense God, controller that would be incredible dude and yeah. or if you got if you got an enemy like sh- shooting like projectiles just weaving past your head you feel that on the controller like yeah. Yeah, it'd be cool. Which is so and, cool. Yeah. And even Man. and even better dude, I could hear the clickers the three D audio. I could you hear are muted. Me, in front of me. Oh, what? I'm You're muted. muted, I can't hear you. Me? Yeah. I can still hear him. Oh, oh. Alright, I kinda hear it now. You can't come back yeah. in. Okay. I think it's I think it's just as in it. 
Yeah, your internet's cutting <laughs> out your you, audio a little yeah. bit. You started talking, I, I was like, I don't hear you. <laughs> but yeah, um, so, like I was saying, um, with the clickers, um, yeah. when I was wearing my Pulse 3D headset, I could hear the clickers behind me, dude. And I was like, where are they? I'm like, oh, I could hear them. And not only that, dude, I could hear them on, like, when I was in a building, and, like, the the tilted building, I could hear them on top of me, behind right. me. It's so cool. Me. Oh, my God, dude. The PlayStation 5 is insane. Like, holy shit, dude. Yeah. Oh, oh my uh, God. That's incredible. PS5 is very insane. Let's just like, yeah. and, and the funny thing is, like, developers are not even taking the full advantage of the PS5 yet. Yeah, they're not. Like everybody yeah. says, yeah, they have. I go, no, they haven't. Have you not learned from the PlayStation 4 era or the PlayStation 3? Did the games come out in 2020, you know, 2007 or 2023, end up being the same? The same? Oh, this is how the games gonna look like in 2020? Absolutely not. Compare the very first PS4 game that came out in 2013. Compare that with uh, The Last of Us Part Two, or Ghost of Tsushima, or Final Fantasy VII Remake. Any of those games, you'd be like, yeah, it's a big difference. Right. And just because Demon's Souls and all that looks great on the PS5 in 2020 and whatnot, it's like, be ready. When we get to like 2027, 2028, we're going to oh see games God. that are going to be good. like, whoa, this is like incredible. You think, right. God, you think God of War Ragnarok yeah. and Horizon yeah. Forbidden West looks great now? Just wait. Just oh. wait. That's all I'm gonna say. Just wait. Oh, dude, I can't wait. Oh my god. Yeah. It's just gonna would... blow your mind. I can't wait for uh, Jedi Survivor. That's gonna be oh, fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, the, that the gameplay looks so lunch. good. I'm gonna oh, get yeah. that on lunch. Yeah. And uh, hey, uh, um, you said you're playing part one. Hope you uh, on PC, right? Yeah. Hope you enjoy. It's gonna be. You are gonna love it, man. You are gonna love yeah, it. Yeah, no, I'm very hyped to check it out. I can't yeah. wait. Yeah. yeah, and that's what I like about. I know Over is not really a big fan of Sony adding their games of PC, but hear hear me out. This is for a marketing thing. If mm-hmm. you start playing games on PC, say like God of War, right, 2018, what's that gonna force people to do? People that don't have a PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5, they're gonna play God of War 2018. Could be like, I seen clips of this, but me experiencing this in person, I'm like, I want more. I want Ragnarok. I have to buy a PS5. Right. Oh hell yeah! I'll save. I'll save that money for the GPU for next time. I'll use it to get a PS5. I want to play Ragnarok. Yeah, it's the same thing right. with The Last of Us Part One. When they play that, they want to play The Last of Us Part Two, which is going to be very similar, a little bit better, right? The gameplay wise. Yeah. That's why they didn't go like overboard and made Part One's gameplay a lot better than Part Two because everybody that's played Part One on PC, you want to play Part Two. It might come to PC eventually, not now. Go buy a PS5 and go experience that. It's going to have a 60, a 60 FPS patch on it. Play that. It's going to get people yeah. to buy a PlayStation. That's what Sony's trying to do. It's like, yeah, we'll pour our games over to PC, but Damn, you, you experience our games. 90 bucks. Yeah. Go get go get a PS5 and experience our, our next gen of generation of games. Yeah. <laughs> right. But yeah. And also... Yeah. Uh, just that, just that, uh, uh, deluxe edition for Survivor is 90 bucks. Oh my god. I'm yeah. getting standard. I'm yeah. Getting standard. I'll probably end up getting standard as well. Yeah, I, I usually stick with standards unless it comes with like a, a really sick looking box art. I mean, not box yeah. art, but yeah. like steel bookcase. I'm still yeah. just that Firefly. You got, <laughs> I don't pull it out, all right? Oh yes. Uh, <laughs> well, I got the comic books too. I can read those. Oh, dude, it oh, yeah. does look good though. Doesn't it look a mid, dude? Oh. Yeah, I, yeah. It's funny Maybe. because I had it pre-order like the first batch, but I had to cancel it for some something came out. I had to cancel. I'm like, I don't want to cancel. And the God of War collector's edition, I had both ordered, mm-hmm. but I had to cancel both for the apparent reason. And then Naughty Boy was like, "Yo, we got another one coming out like on launch." Another batch. I'm like, you know what? I'll try to sneak, snag one. I waited, 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 and I snagged one. And of course, I had to wait a couple extra days for it to come to me, but it came. Yeah. Well, yeah. I like it. And everybody's like worried about it being damaged. Mine wasn't damaged at all. Hey, little corner. Hey, little corner neck. It's a little bit of dent. Yeah, I can see that right there. So, I tried up. to Don't get worry. one. Ellie's still alive and kicking. That looks good. Dude, 
Alpha Next, I tried to pre order the Firefly edition. They were sold out within like Aww. three seconds. I wanted them so bad. And then here's yeah. the, here's the stuff. No, no, no. Dude, stop flexing. Ooh. Why are you flexing nice. right now? That's really yeah. beautiful. And then on the back Put is that like the Firefly thing. Put it away. And, um, Put it away. Dude, he knows I want this. He really like, bought it. Up. And of I course, mean, the inside is kind of right it's kinda lame, but there's the disc. Oh, yeah. Just... Yeah, that's so cool, yeah. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I'll get mine for the comparison. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'll <laughs> yeah, compare. I'll compare our steel book cases. Oh, here we go. I have. All right. So I have a pre-owned version of Halo Three for Xbox 360. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that's the old days, right there, folks. Oh, oh yeah. God. I found I found an Xbox 360 in my basement recently, two controllers and and so the games, really? the game store, I, yeah. I used to have the a 360, store. but I don't know what happened to mine. I think I accidentally sold it. I was young and dumb. Oh uh, yeah, I feel that. But um, yeah, no. One of the thing, the cool things is like my local game store sells used Xbox games for like three to five bucks. Yeah. So you know, you know, every now and then I'll grab one. I do. I do it. like the Horizon Forbidden West one. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, oh, like they went, oh, they went that overboard is with really that. Really nice art. Damn. And then <laughs> the inside is pretty neat too. They got just a nice little. This is a lot better. Oh, dude. Oh man. Yeah, so sick. That's very nice. So yeah, um, I'm. Also, kind of like eh. You know what? I'll pass. I'm not spending an extra ten bucks for it. What? Yeah. But on what? On some steel book cases, they they don't look good. Like the reason why I like physical games, like some of the box arts are amazing. Yeah. But like and, I've been you know, burnt I've been burnt by yeah. delays. Like I had like my The Last of Us Part Two, like special edition, got delayed for like a week. So everybody's playing it had to avoid all the spoilers. I'm like, oh, Jeez. That was through Walmart, that too. Before? And Walmart's like, oh, we ran out of copies, but here's one for you. They sent out, finally. <laughs> I pre-ordered it, like, months ago. I was, like, months before release. Like, how's this sold already? Apparently, apparently it's popular. Like, like I didn't even know, like, the, the collector's Have edition you, existed. Have you been playing uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake? Or, or no? Not yet, but I, I'm planning on playing the VR one here soon. Oh, really? Is yeah. that a VR version? Yeah, I got I got it on the uh, on the Meta Quest too. It came with my uh, Meta Quest, so I'm really excited to yeah. like give that a try and whatnot. Yeah, because like the VR VR is so much fun. Oh my god! Um, is... yeah, I can't wait to like try out some some of the newer. Dude, what games. I heard, um, like right now, I, I, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I'm saving up for a PSVR too. Because they implemented the haptic feedback and adaptive triggers on Ooh. the sense controllers, and now with oh, the that's interesting. You put them on. Not only does it have a 110 field of view, so you can look all around you, behind you, oh. up, down to 110 field of view. Yeah. Native 4K visuals. Oh, well, um, I got I got some content got to make for screen. Final Fantasy 16 tomorrow. What? I got some content to make for Final Fantasy 16 tomorrow. Yeah. They upload the full panel. It's like an hour and six minutes long. Oh my god, dude. A Final Fantasy 16 juiciness. <laughs> Have you played any Final Fantasy games, uh, Alpha? Or... Um, I've played, like, original Final Fantasy 7, like a little bit. And I've played, yeah. like, bits and pieces of, like, some of the older ones. But I like I said earlier, I'm not huge into the Final Fantasy yeah. series, but I do want to get into it. To be honest, okay, yeah, uh, I'm a I'm, like it, it all depends on who you are. Like, if you want to, if you okay. want to play Final Fantasy games and not really like turn based and it's really slow, methodical, and like a lot of people Same said, I can't handle like the old, the outdated visuals and stuff like that. It's like if you want to play something kind of newish. I know 15. It's not even that. It's yeah. like, I like old games and I like JRPGs. I like turn based yeah. stuff. It's more along the lines of just like the story and world I never really got into. Yeah. Because, like, ultimately, if I tried to get into it, I probably would. It's just that I never gave myself like the option and I never really yeah. chose to get into it. 
so I just don't have much experience with it. Yeah, uh, like, like I uh, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I, yeah. But um, that's kind of the expansion. Of and it. like with Final Fan, like Final Fantasy is kind of like Resident Evil. Insane, like yeah. not everybody's gonna be into it. Like not right. everybody's gonna be into that type of series. Like yeah, don't get me wrong, it's very popular. It's been around for freaking like thirty, almost thirty years. Don't get me wrong. But I can yeah. I can understand that people are turned off by Final Fantasy. It's like it's JRPG. It's got that Japanese trope of, of everything like Harlem's and stuff like that. It's like it's not for me. I, I get that. Right. That's understandable. And just like Resident Evil, it's like I'm not a big horror game enthusiast. I don't really care about like the zombie aspects or or being right. chased around by a bio weapon for majority of the game that's trying to kill you. He's unable to be killed. Um. That's understandable. Like, there's some games out there. It's like, for me, there's some games I won't touch. And it's like, sorry, Charlie. Right. Like, I even tried yeah. getting stuff. I got Persona 5 Royal, 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 whatever you want to call it. And yeah. I, I, it's, it's, it's P5 Royal. Yeah. And, like, I'm I'm excited for, like, the story and the characters and the music is incredible. But, like, the first, like, main dungeon they put you in is, like, it's such a grind. And it's like this it is, is this no, is so, definitely. and it's like I, mean, I, I love JRPGs, but I like I can't. Persona games, but I did um, hear like from a lot of my friends who are playing it that it has a lot of pacing issues. Like it's very it's, yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Um, but the stories usually do end up being pretty cool, and like characters are usually pretty good. I really like Final Fantasy IV in particular. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or, sorry, Final Fantasy. Uh, Persona 4. I really like Persona 4. Um, I totally had a brain fart there. But, um, no, it, I, to I, like, I got super into that for a while. I played the game, watched the anime, and I really was into that. Um, P5 is really good as well, but it, I will definitely agree with you there. Um, it has some pacing issues. Um, and recently, I've gotten back into playing some more JRPGs with, like, the Xenoblade series. Yeah. Uh, one of our friends is, like, super into it, got me back into it. And uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 1 is, like, fucking phenomenal. And it does everything that, like, you want a good JRPG to do. Yeah. Like, it doesn't... It's long as all hell, and there's a lot of stuff to do. But it all works because the story ties together and every single question that you're going to have will yeah. eventually get answered. There's right. no loose and, and that's what you want. Exactly. I, see, the, that's why for me, like, I'm not into JRPGs. Like, I'm really not. The only JRPG I've ever played was Final Fantasy VII Remake. And, and even that I thought was a grind and it was long. Like, you think Final Fantasy VII Remake is long. You, you just play some other... Yeah. yeah, just wait, you know. Well, like I know uh, one of my friends, he was recommending to me uh, uh, a game called Tales of Arise. He said that that's a really good one, uh, but I never got around to it, unfortunately. So, oh, yeah, that game that game blew my mind, just like Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, those two yeah. games were like my, my top two most surprised games of 2021. It wasn't my game of the year because my game of the year goes to uh, Resident Evil Village. Good. Like, the I, soundtrack for Guardians of the Galaxy was so good. I, I oh, loved it. Yeah, and, oh my God, and to be honest with you, like, I watched both the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, and don't get me wrong, those actors hit it, hit the nail on the head for that characters, but I thought whoever they got for the game, like, for the voice acting and stuff, nailed it even harder. Really? You think so? Right yeah. On. It's yeah, just no, like, I, it, it like I, I was playing that, I was like, holy crap. It's like, am I, am I playing, like, a movie? Like, the characterization, the story, the music, and yeah, the gameplay is kind of is 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 what it is. But it's you're simple, yeah. you are the commander of your group. You tell your group what to do. Your commander doesn't do anything. He's like the king. He's like the king on a chessboard. He don't do a whole lot, but man, all the pieces around him can kick some ass. Oh yeah. And Gamora, she's your she's your queen. Okay. That's all you got. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. That's all I gotta know, but yeah, every yeah. like once you get everybody packed down the t the the team up attack, which I thought, mm -hmm. man, it can be something they can use in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, like the team up attacks for that, make make it more like to get the characters all involved, instead of just sitting there like doing their own thing. The AI in that in that game ain't super great. It's doable. They do their own thing. Um, 
but like Guardians of the Galaxy, like you really get to have say, hey, hey Drax, I want you to hit him with this movement. Hey Rocket, hit him with your your all your maneuver thing, and Gamora, hit him with your your sword so, mechanics and, and all right, that. Well, yeah, my only complaint about the Guardians of the Galaxy game, and I, I don't know, is that you couldn't play the other Guardians, but I loved um, Star Lord's story and. The game, like, um, reminds me of, like, a Telltale game because, like, it makes you choose in, like, uh, some segments. Like, when you're talking to certain characters, it's like, hey, uh, you want to throw a group over to the the bridge? And then you can decide, eh, maybe, yep. Right. Probably, you know? It's like, oh. Yeah, it's like the choices you make will have an effect on how you care, like how the characters treat Star Lord. Mm-hmm. Like if you if you decide not to throw a Rocket, but if you <laughs> throw him, he's pissed off at you for like majority of the game. He's like, well, <laughs> <laughs> how dare you get yeah. my fur all wet? You <laughs> It's like, yeah, he's not how happy. How dare you call me a raccoon? <laughs> now speaking of uh, Telltale games. Wolf Among Us 2 got delayed, huh? Oh, no, oh did it? God, man. Yeah. Yes. Oh. I was so disappointed, man, because I was looking so... I was so uh, looking too, forward to that. Because I recently played the first one. I recently oh, got man. to play the first one so for the first time. And it was so, it was so good. good. I recommended it. Yeah, yeah, no, it was like literally uh, East's, so uh, over's word of mouth oh, yeah. there. <sighs> um, so and, yeah, no, I had a great freaking time playing that. Yeah, so I think I played, if I play anything Telltale wise, I did try to play the Batman one. I tried playing like the Walking Dead one. I was like, oh, this is all right. But I'm more like, I played Heavy Rain. That was amazing. That was an amazing game. I need, still need to play Detroit Becomes Human. I heard Detroit that was great all, things man. about that. I, I, like, human. I like Heavy so, Rain. I have some issues with Heavy Rain, but I like it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I like, can tell that, you know, it has some issues, but I was like, I came close to making everybody survive in my first playthrough. So for my right. fuck up. It was my fuck ultimately, up that everybody, like, three of them died. Yeah. <laughs> them ultimately, died. the most disappointing thing was that you, it felt like your choices didn't matter, because no matter what you did... And I have the, this issue with a lot of, like, games that have this kind of writing, too. And you're, now like, you're muted. What the heck's going on with us? Oh, really? Uh, yeah. It might be my... My mic's I kind of bad. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, my mic is kind of bad. That's but, all right. Like, as I was saying, sometimes it just sucks when games like Heavy Rain or like Life is Strange, for example, have like the feeling where your choices don't really matter because you'll end up choosing one thing and then like the outcome will be this. And then you'll have like the similar outcome from the other choice. Yeah. It, it, I don't know. That was like my main issue with it was just like it had. It just felt like your choices didn't matter that much. But yeah, and that's kind of that's kind of really like, like how it's kind of like I can see why a lot of people didn't like uh, Dying Light too. The choices yeah. don't really matter until like the last couple of chapters, right? Yeah. Because if let's Horizon say you sight, let's say you survive, you sided with the survivors, and the PKs are supposed to be like all pissed off at you. They're not. Like you can go up talk right. talk them in their ba- base and like, hey, hey, uh, um, I forgot his name already. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> oh, Aiden. Aiden. Yeah. Aiden of Aiden. I gotta remember that. But yeah. Um, it's just I can see why people didn't like that, and that it was too serious. It's too dark, too gritty. But I was like, if you don't like that, play Dead Island Two. Uh, not Dead. Island. Yeah, Dead Island Two, which is coming out next month. It's more over uh, over the top. Not supposed to be taken seriously. Like you meet this NPCs in his freaking underwear, and it's like, dude, put some clothes on, you drunken, <laughs> drunken. <laughs> He's like, hey man, we got some parties. We got the some party poopers out in the garage. You want to take care of them? He's all higher than a kite. Right. Yeah. You bring us a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> hey, bring us a pizza. A yeah, that's, just, pizza that's pretty right? funny. But, but yeah, that's just. Yeah, some games like that, it's like, hey, choices don't really matter. Like, until dawn, your choices don't matter. But, like, there's two characters that no matter what you've done, like, they survive until the very last step. Right. Yeah. I played, uh, I played The Quarry recently. Yeah. And that was a good game, but it just, the problem with The Quarry is that it felt like a copy and paste of Until Dawn. I mean, 
Look, if you um, enjoyed Until Dawn, you will enjoy the quarry, but it does feel like a copy and paste. Like, it's the same thing, but it's just, you're in a summer camp, and there's these counselors, and there's these... Uh, yeah. Yeah. There's these creatures lurking in the summer camp, and, and you know, you... He was a counselor's and to survive and make certain I do decisions. I do like I do like how the game the game uh, I think the game is a little bit better than Until Dawn. Until Dawn is a little bit older, of course it's like the animations yeah. are really stiff, but the animations and the faces are still kinda of stiff in the quarry, but it's a little bit better. They're getting better at it. Yeah, it not is, their particular yeah. skill set. <laughs> but I thought the visuals look fine. I thought like the, the way the way the characters fantastic. like react yeah. and stuff was the fantastic. Was, yeah. I thought it was cool, and it it ha really had the feeling of being like a campy '80s horror movie. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like it a it's really a it's a B vibe. it's a B rated horror movie about oh, teenagers. Yeah, it, or, it, was like, it, it did that horror. so well. Yeah, and uh, it it's like oh, really you want to make cool out and make this guy what jealous? Ending, uh, right. <laughs> did you get it? Uh, I watched what it. Ending? Um. Uh, what ending did you get for it, Alpha? I, I actually didn't play it. I watched Jacksepticeye play it. Um, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, but um, from what I did see, like, uh, I, honestly, I can't remember what ending he got. But like, um, from what I did see of the game, it was like a really cool experience. Um, and yeah. yeah, I just overall like the vibes of it. Oh, yeah, man. we uh, my playthrough with a friend of mine, which like I get to help, like make decisions he likes controlling the characters but like i can well they, we try to kill off all the characters it's like he likes killing all the characters i'll just see like different <laughs> deaths Man, and stuff like that and, massacre, huh? and like the yep. funny the funny thing about the whole thing is that one chick's like doing a vlog and she's like should i go up here or should i not this might be the final <laughs> goodbye it's like that you're dead now bitch i got her killed dude i'm like no <laughs> but yeah it's just because she's making stupid <laughs> like, like, do no, I have to? Do I have to make videos on this the whole it's like time? Those dumb like, characters that you see in horror movies. Like, I don't. I don't. Don't mean to go call to bitch, that but... basement. Don't go up there. There's a fucking creature. It's like, oh god, let's check this out with my camera. Hey, let's go. You know, like, I, I, I just, I, I can't stand those characters, man. It's like, <sighs> oh, they're trying to get clicks. They're trying to get views. <laughs> just like me when I make YouTube videos, so I get views and clicks. Yeah. It's like, did you hear what Microsoft said today? What did they say? <laughs> oh, I just, I just make them funny. <laughs> Clickbait videos, you know the ones where they have the this this reaction is like, did you hear what Microsoft said to Sony? It's like, yeah, well we all heard, and you're like just making a big deal out of nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I just, you know how those clickbait videos work. Yeah, unfortunately. It's a plague that's uh, infected YouTube and their algorithm. Uh, yeah. Interesting. yeah, it's just like... Well, the thing mm -hmm. I learned, too, is, like, you got to have, like, your uh, description matters. Um, keywords, not so much. They say, yeah, keywords actually get attention. Like, the title of your video, your thumbnail is absolutely 1,000% has to hit. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to learn some of that stuff, too. But I don't know uh, how to make thumb thumbnails i make them like by how i make them but apparently it's yeah. not good enough like i'm trying to i'm trying to kind of learn a lot of stuff because i'm going to start doing youtube content here uh in the near future um but uh yeah no um there's definitely things that you like want to pick up on your title should um help the reader and then like thumbnails are a big thing because that'll help people click um, you don't need anything too excessive, really. You just kind of need to convey where your video is going. For mm -hmm. example, like the video I posted in the chat, uh, our video game's getting too cinematic. We have The Last of Us and God of War right here on the frame, and then our our friend, the YouTuber, is little PNG in the back there. Um, okay. <laughs> it's, it's literally just got to be simple, and my honest advice is just, like, look up YouTube, just, like, basic photoshop and whatnot and like it's pretty easy to put something together mm -hmm. uh, right but uh i felt like for right me, like, yeah i can i like, can see that for me like for me like cinematic games i love like 
I love cinematic games. So, like, for me, it's like... Oh, yeah, you're, it's like you're playing a movie, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I love, you know? Like, I like those, there's, too. There's nothing wrong with uh, video games getting too, cin- like, getting cinematic. And that's actually what the video talks about. It's like, uh, it talks about how, like, no video games aren't getting too cinematic. It's just the fact that these video games here happen to be telling stories. You know what I mean? Right. And you know what my my favorite thing about this like cinematic cutscenes and the characters are talking for five minutes. Let's say you get done with a really intense segment of the gameplay, like the combat's mm-hmm. going nuts and like oh, what the hell, man? Yeah. I'm getting overwhelmed. Like when you get like five ten minutes of just characters talking about what the hell happened, what's their next step? It's like it's nice to relax and it gets you reimmersed. Yeah, yeah reimmersed exactly. and just like that's it's what I like it. about it. Like gameplay is number one, but the story and characters also have to drive it. That's why they're top two and three on my list. Music, if the music hits, it doesn't matter. It's oh, bonus. yeah. Yeah, dude. But for me, like, music is really important. Because, like, for me, it adds depth to the scene. Yeah. Like, you know, when I was playing Last of Us Part 1, when Sarah died and hearing that music, oh, my God. It hits so hard, man. Yeah, we don't want, it's- you know, we don't want, I'm a Bob- Barbie girl in the Barbie's world. Theme song going out of that segment, right? Don't make sense. If they do that, then it's like, yeah, that don't make sense. That's I'm going to give that like an F because you can't be singing about I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world when somebody's dying in the background. You know? Yeah. Just for you. Uh, you got that stuck in my head, Jen, too. Whenever I see dies, like, I'm a Barbie I'd, girl. I'd Barbie. love to get into making video game music at some point. Too. Yeah. Oh, man. I, just, I've been, I've that's my, that's my like, jam. Like, I'll put yeah. on, like, Final Fantasy VII Remake OST and listen to that all day. Yeah. Or just, like, other yeah. things. Like, other video game, game themes and stuff. Even, like, movie, like, even movie themes. It's, like, just listening to how they orchestrate it. It's, like, oh, what a oh, masterpiece. Yeah. It's awesome. I, I like to fall asleep to the uh, uh, Night in the Woods soundtrack a oh, lot. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Stardew Valley is really good for background music. Dude, Alpha... Nintendo, any Nintendo music, man, just hits I, so perfectly. Unfortunately, uh, my save file for it. Yeah, you, you did to tell me it. that. So we we got to play that together again. Yeah, dude. Because I remember when we played it together, I had such an awesome time. Like, my save me file too. File. It's so fun. But yeah, 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 it does suck that your save file got corrupted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my friend, my friend Monster Hunter World Iceborne save got corrupted or got erased oh, no. so he had to start oh. over i'm like why oh, how'd you do that <laughs> like how far in was he too that because oh yeah like, like he was over like hunter rank over 200 and all that oh, oh that man. sucks i, I had somebody else did that too on Monster xbox hunter like World. they were yeah. they were just transferring over to our set our section and somehow his internet shut off right in the middle of it and it deleted his save file and he was pissed. He goes, I'm already just delete this game unless you guys want to help me bum rush and get all my stuff back. We helped him within right. a week. He got everything back to where it was. But man, that sucks. But I love Monster Hunter World, like an Iceborne. I put over 1,800 hours between PlayStation and Xbox wow, back really? in 2018, 2019. Dang. Play with friends. I stepped up at 4 in the morning. like, guys, I had to get up in like an hour. <laughs> I got to get some sleep. I can't do the siege anymore. That's like, ugh. The time, right. like, it when they done their final update for Monster Hunter World, Iceborne, they showed all like all the all their little memory memorabilia, like all their pay, all the things they remember from their pl- time playing the game. Like the developers, like that, almost brought a tear to my eye because the journey's over. With. It's like right. now I wait for the next generation of Monster Hunter, which was Monster Hunter Rise. I never really care for on the Switch, but playing that on PC, I'm like, you know what? This is this is a lot better. Switches just didn't feel right. But PC or even the console, like console console, it's great. Um, but yeah, my son of world was like, that game like blew my mind where it's like, it's up to like uh, Red Dead Redemption too. As far as like games, I was really immersed. Not because yeah. of the story. Monster Hunter doesn't really have a story that feels like, whoa, this blew my mind. It's more like just the gameplay. <laughs> Fighting huge monsters yeah. and and stuff of like that, and grinding for materials, and doing like mm. sick armor sets and weapons and stuff. I'm really excited to see what um the next generation of. Uh, I don't really play a whole lot of 
Grand Theft Auto, to be honest with you, but I'm really interested to see what Rockstar is able to achieve in terms of visuals within the next yeah. year. Grand Theft Auto 6, yeah. Lie. Grand Theft Auto 5 on PS3 looked amazing. Grand Theft Auto 6 for the net, for PlayStation 5, the new Xbox, and PC. Imagine how amazing that's going to look. Oh, my God. I still, dude, I still to this day, I have never played Grand Theft Auto 5. Yeah. I have I, it now for Xbox 360, but I, I played, played the story it for a little bit. I got bored of it, and I had a friend of mine that pushed me into the online segment for like over an hour of segments. I'm like, can we play something else? I'm bored. Right, I get that. <laughs> like back on the PlayStation 4, is like, it feels like you need to go back and play on PS5. It's like, no, I like the last GTA I I, I liked was four. Four is like the last one. Five mm. just something just don't hit with me. I love that one. Yeah. And like Red Dead Redemption 2 online has something good starting, but Rockstar is like, eh, we're gonna abandon it, just go to GTA. And people's like it had potential. A lot that of people love the Red decision, Dead Redemption online. Rockstar. Like a lot of people love the way it was really handled. Not a smart decision. Yeah. By Rockstar, to be honest. And like that's their last best game they ever made was Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't care what people say. Oh, GTA 5 is better. No, it's not. No, absolutely not. Red I Dead Redemption 2 GTA. was my game of the year. Okay. Were there redemption too? Like, what happened at the end with Arthur? Ugh. Yeah. I'm not gonna say too much on it, but since you know, yeah, it's just like the the whole the whole game was. I I, I love western themed games, like with the horses oh, and cowboys, outlaws and sheriffs. Yeah. We dude, we need a remaster or like an upgrade. Ever them. since, dude. Why not Rockstar? Ever since. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 came out and they had the house building theme. Like, mm -hmm. I haven't been... Dude, I can't stop laughing at that one piece of music because we used it in one in-joke where we made a wanted poster out of my friend's uh, high school photo. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. Um, and it was just like... And now every time I hear that piece of music, it, like, it just makes me laugh. Yeah, that's pretty funny. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. It's just like... And, and Rockstar is like, no, we're not remastering Red Dead Redemption 2. We're not giving an upgrade. We're not remaking Red Dead Redemption 1. And they're focusing on GTA Online. And they're worried about GTA 6. It's like, that's fine. But remember, you got people that still love Rock, uh, Red Dead Redemption franchise. Like, you can't abandon that. You know, it's like, you can push GTA all you want, but you're not going to get people to play it other than your hardcore fans. Like, Right. And I feel like, you know, Rockstar, you know, <laughs> GTA 5 GTA Online has sort of been their, like, cash cow. Like, you know, they're just milking it like a cow. Like yeah. a cash cow doing this. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, milking a cow. Okay, Betsy, <laughs> relax. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, yeah, so, um, um, it's it's a shame because Red Dead Redemption Two is such a masterpiece, and for Rockstar to just abandon it and not give it any more updates or n n nothing, right? It's yeah. such a shame, man. It really it is. It is disappointing. Oh, Have yeah, you played sure. Red Dead Two Alpha or? Uh, yeah, a little bit of it. Oh man, it's amazing, dude. It's really good. It's really cool from what I played. Yeah, I like I love, it. yeah. Like the the voice the voice actors for that game are amazing. Just yeah, yeah, it's just Dutch. wow. Yeah, Dutch Vanderlyn, welcome Arthur. back to Kicker Cream. Like, Dutch like they even Arthur. made like hit like the voice actor for Arthur Morgan and the voice actor for Joe Miller are actually they're actually starred in like a sci-fi horror like a horror f uh game. Really? Oh, that's cool. It's like it's like a low it's a low budget like indie title, but they're like voice actors in it. I'm like, really? The Those game? two I'm together? Like, I'm not. I'm not sure. I saw it was at some kind of event, of some sort, like last year, year before. It's been a while. It was a it was the event they showed off a lot of sci-fi horror games. And everybody said it was a sci-fi horror gaming event or something like that. It's like too many of them. Right. But it's like it's interesting. Just as uh, Troy Baker, he. He definitely stars in a lot of video of games. Right? And what? He did the voice of Joel, right? 
Yeah, Troy Baker, yes. He also was a voice actor for uh, Sam in Uncharted 4. And he was also a voice actor for David in the last one. HBO. Yeah, I heard about that. Can't wait to get there. No spoilers. Oh my god, dude. Sam in Uncharted 4. <laughs> I remember this one scene. Dude, he, he was flirting with Lee. He's like, hi, how are you? And Nathan's like, would you focus, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> Sam is, oh my god. I love Sam as a character. Dude, Alpha, you have to play Uncharted 4. It is one of the greatest games ever, dude. Yeah, I want to play more of the Uncharted series. I was having fun playing the first one. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. But Uncharted 4 was my, it was my very first, first party Sony game on PlayStation 4 and it blew my mind. Oh, oh hell yeah! Amazing. It's like, man. Uh, it's like I got I got the PlayStation I'm 4 500 again. gigabyte, which no, that was a mistake. It. I should have got the one terabyte at the time, but I was dumb, young, so I got that, and I had to buy an external hard drive, which that failed on me. So it's like you know what? As I got to point where I'm so busy in my life, it's like I don't really need to be in gaming, so I sold everything. But I finally got a PlayStation 4 Pro. But when I was playing Uncharted 4. I didn't really play it first. I saw a trailer for it. I was like, I'm going to look at a trailer first before I start playing it. And I was like, man, this game looks incredible. And, and it blew my mind. It blew so my good, mind. Man. I was like, yeah, I'm glad I got a PlayStation 4. And like, what, you know, uh, Alpha, we talked about games being too cinematic. Uncharted yeah. 4 is a very cinematic game. Extremely yeah. cinematic. All right, and, that's cool. And like, yeah. Oh, yeah. For me, like, it, I felt like I was playing like an Indiana Jones action adventure. Anyways, I don't want to get a copyright strike for uh, singing my own song. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. Damn, we've been recording for two hours. And, uh, also, yeah, we have. Um, That's crazy. There's also going to be uh, an Indiana Jones game, which. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking uh, forward to that, too. Huh? I'm looking forward to that, that game. Confer- I don't know. It's is it's confirmed. Rumor? It's confirmed. Really? Yes. That's cool. Wow. Yeah. And uh, cool. and yes, Indiana Harrison Jones Ford movie. is making the very last uh, uh, Indiana Jones movie. He's gonna be in. Yeah. Are you a fan of the Indiana Jones? Series? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I watched it with my dad. Watch all 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 of them. Oh yeah. I'm I'm I ready. For, I'm ready for the latest one because this is gonna be the final chapter in Harrison Ford's uh, acting career, pretty much. Yeah. Is it really? Wow. Yeah. I love him as Han Like Solo. him and like Jim Carrey are calling it quits. Like he, he like he's not gonna do Sonic the Hedgehog three. Yeah. yeah like they're gonna have a different Doctor Robotnik. So how's that gonna that work? Sucks. Dude, that's I I can't imagine anyone else playing Doctor Robotnik as Jim Carrey. I can't. I know. He makes he's, such he's a good he makes robot. a good like, character of everything. That's the way he acts. Like, you cannot yeah. like look. You cannot tell me that someone else is playing robot I mean, because for me i'm not gonna buy in i'm not gonna buy in because uh, like and in that first movie where jim carrey he nailed the doctor robot i mean the only complaint that i had is like he's not fat enough make him fatter <laughs> it's not really it's not really um gonna be too distracting though from sonic 3 though because i imagine shadow is gonna be the main focus as a villain in yeah. the third one from mm. what i know yeah. So it shouldn't be too. It shouldn't take too much away. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it should be fine. Oh, yeah. I still gotta watch Sonic the Hedgehog too when I get around to it. But right now, my focus oh, is okay. the Last of Us TV show. Then I'll move on to Sonic the Hedgehog two, and then I'm yeah. probably gonna cancel my HBO Max until season two. Yeah. Uh, right on. It's yeah, like I mean, either I either, I either pay so. either pay a one month subscription fee for that or wait till the whole series comes out and pay fifty dollars for it. Right. I I use my aunt's HBO Max and uh, I've been finding some. There's some cool movies on there though. Oh yeah, yeah I, I found some good movies. I just I'm debating whether or not to yeah. keep my subscription, but we'll see. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's some um, TV shows on there too. So. Yeah. yeah. And like um. I did hear that, unfortunately, uh, Kevin C- C- Conroy, we yeah. did hear that he passed. He's going to make his final outing as Batman in Suicide Squad. Yeah, I'm Batman. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Which is cool, because that was like yeah. a nice, that's a nice, uh, you know, a nice little uh, nod memory 
memorial nod to his legacy in that. Kevin Conroy's Batman was my childhood, dude. Like, I, yeah. I remember still watching the Batman movies, you know? Like, Batman, Batman, you know? He like, was, um, yeah. He was probably one of the best Batman. He was, and uh, I remember playing all the Arkham games, Arkham City, Arkham Asylum, yeah. Arkham Knight, dude. Oh, my God. Like, when I was playing Arkham Knight, I felt like the Batman. Like, I felt, I felt like I was I'm Batman. Batman. Swing, swing the, <laughs> swinging across uh, Gotham. Like, oh my god, man. Wait, are you swinging? Is this a Spider Man means Batman? Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, he's I know, I know what you mean. Hook. Yeah, he's got the grapple hook. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. A bat, it's like a bat symbol for a grapple. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I used to watch Batman back in the day. Like, my parents would be having, like, watch, like, the old the Batman with, um, shoot. But the old TV show, the very first one. Yeah, yeah, the Adam West one. Yeah, Adam West, yeah. I yeah. thought that was pretty neat. I watched a bit of it. I'm not too big, like, I'm not too massive a fan of it. But like, yeah, it's like, it's, no, a, it's, it's the first ever attempt at a Batman TV show back then. So it's right. like, it works. And it was also during the whole era where they were trying to, like, heavily censor comic stuff. Yeah, because they thought it was too violent at the time. Really? Did they? Re- uh, that's yeah. So it started off like a lot of comics that we know are that are like gruesome or whatever, or have like more adult themes and violence and whatnot. Mm-hmm. They were like that in the '30s too. They had like a lot of you know themes and they were realistic and whatnot. And by the time the '50s kind of rolled around and they were doing all this stuff with like, you know, trying to clean up society and like make things more. Um, not less like taboo and whatnot, well, whatever. It so was. every time they Basically, land a punch in that, be like pow yeah. or bop. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and that's where the like onomatopoeia came from. And um, they basically started censoring the comics, and like a lot of things were changed. A lot less violence. It was. More, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they took the Joker and made him from like the original psychopathic killer that he was into just like yet another themed bandit for Batman to beat. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. But like, and that, and that, that's like the whole reason why I'm not super into it. Right. But like, yeah. It also was like really important for comics at the time too. So I can't really blame it, you know? Yeah. No, I, for me, like, um, and my, also the Batmobile looks good. <laughs> oh yeah. For me, uh, there will only ever be two Jokers in, in my mind. Yeah. Heath Ledger. And Mark Hamill, in my mind, that's fair. Two Jokers. Yeah, yeah, I thought Heath Ledger did an amazing job with Joker. He's more like oh, psychotic and and violent <laughs> yeah, stuff. He but. was he's fantastic. But the he problem is fantastic. too, like that that Nothing playing that, that character though, kind Nothing of ruined more. his personality in real life. Like, got yeah. to the point where, yeah, yeah he ended yeah. up. Yeah, Nothing that's what people are saying. Like, it destroyed him eternally. Yeah, uh, you gotta Nothing actually, knows. you gotta like. You gotta play your role. You gotta live that role. It's like yeah, I, I couldn't absolutely. do it. Absolutely. And uh, I was gonna say, Alpha knows that I can bring out the Heath Ledger in me. <laughs> yep. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. All right. But yeah, um, I'm actually uh looking very forward to what they do, do with the new uh IP by uh Deviation Games. Oh yeah. Yeah, have you heard of Deviation Games? I um, I heard maybe? of it, but I don't I don't remember yeah. what uh, IP. I think work they're working on. on something new, aren't they? Like, let me see. They're like, I mean, like first person. Let me see. Shooter type game. Yeah, their website's kind of whack. Yeah. All right, please load. I don't care about the text. <laughs> well, the only thing we know is that they're hey, developing an original IP, which will be published by Sony Interactive Entertainment, as far as we know. Mm. That's it. I mean, I thought they... They are making on. a groundbreaking AAA original intellectual property. That's it. Just a new, just a groundbreaking AAA title. That's it. What do you guys I think it They are be? former, they are former, formerly from Treyarch. Mm. Mm. So, I'm not sure though. 
we'll see what they're going to make. Is it going to be yeah. like an action game with a bunch of guns? Is it going to be something brand new? We don't know. I'm in, I'm interested. That's why the PlayStation Showcase needs to happen. We got, so, right. we got so many IPs okay. that Sony's got, but time's so, time's time. Right, guys, I'm going to tell you what I want to see from PlayStation Showcase. I'm going to try not to I'm, I'm going to try too hard not to geek out all over the place, okay? <laughs> Janet just sleep and he's like, "Oh, here we go again." <laughs> That's all right. We gotta we gotta cut this short though soon though. We don't want to make it like three hours long. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting tired here. Yeah, but, but uh, let me uh, let me give you my quick rundown here. I want to see. Oh yeah. Uh, go to Tsushima two reveal. Oh yeah. I want to see more Spider Man two. I want to see a Final Fantasy seven rebirth. That's my. Boy. I want to see, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see Final Fantasy VII. I want to see a Naughty Dog's new IP. I want to see, and this is the biggest one, Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake. Please, right. Sony. Please. I want to see more of Silent Hill 2 Remake. Oh, uh, I'm sure. I'm one. sure you're going to show us, yeah. Dude, yeah. Uh, because supposedly, from you know the leaks and rumors I've been hearing about, it's going to launch this year, guys. It yeah. is. Silent Hill 2 is confirmed ready. coming out this year, yeah. <laughs> I get your, I get your wallet ready, Alpha, because you're... That's, ready. yeah, no, that's hype. That's massive. Right. Got my yeah. wallet. <laughs> we, uh, we, literally, we were actually, me and Angie and Micah were talking about, um, uh, Silent Hill 1 the other day and how rare of a game it actually is to find to the mm -hmm. point where you can't even really find much footage of it on YouTube. It's wild. Really? Wow. Yeah. Wow, so yeah, because it was wow. already rare at the time it released and whatnot. It was it was pretty crazy, but yeah, yeah no, I'd love to see more of the Silent Hill two remake. Yeah, um, and it, it's gonna be using Unreal Engine five tech, which is gonna be mind blowing. Like, That'd be great. The graphic fidelity is is gonna blow us away. Like we, um, like the textures are gonna be like real life textures. Like when you move, you can like pick up the rocks. And look at them and play with them. You can interact with everything. Um, it's gonna be insane for Unreal Engine Five, man. I'm oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can't wait. It's, it'll be cool. I I need to, like I said, I'm still gonna watch those Unreal Engine Fives because the last time I watched was back in 2020 with that tech demo. Oh, yeah, no, they blew me away. Usually like, the Unreal Engine tech demos are pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. So yeah. What's your rundown, Alpha? Of... Um. Okay. What's that? What's that? What's your rundown of what you want to see? At the PlayStation uh, event? Yeah. For, at PlayStation event? Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I'm not sure. Mostly just more stuff on basically what Issa's covered. Spider-Man, Silent Hill. Um, Love to see, like, just, like, more information about, like, console software going forward and whatnot. Yeah. Or, but, like, uh, yeah. At the new PS5 Slim or, like, the, the detachable disk drive? Maybe we're gonna see that. Yeah, that'll be cool. Some hardware Wait, stuff. I'm sure we're gonna see that when the showcase happens. If this you think confirmed so? gonna be out this year for that model, yeah. they're gonna have to start marketing it soon. Get yeah. like you gotta have to start getting pre orders up like between like now and June. Like June be like the earliest you gotta get or latest, get pre orders out. Start getting the pre orders up. Um mm -hmm. but yeah, um for me what I wanna see at the PlayStation showcase is more of the same. I do think we're gonna see the the next Call of Duty there because Sony's gonna like have their raw raw time with Call of Duty one more time. Um, of course, they're gonna have to sign a deal because they're gonna have to because the CMA has already said it's okay. We approve the deal, so Sony's right. hands are basically tied now. So they could probably still since the deal ain't officially in yet. I'm sure Call of Duty is gonna be there. I think Microsoft is like, yeah, go ahead, go ahead and have Call of Duty on your showcase. It's fine. It's fine. Have it there. Um, I expect Call of Duty to be there. Spider-Man 2 for sure. Uh, the last of us part, not part three, but the multiplayer. We're going to see yeah. that there. Um, and the new IP from Nidog. Yeah, a new IP. We got to see what they're working on too. Um, we're going to see Santa Monica's new IP. We got to show us so. a review. Yeah, we got to have a review of that. Um, oh Ghost of Tsushima 2. Oh, yeah. Because, uh, not Gorilla Game. Sucker Punch been working on it for at least couple years now they can show us something review um yeah it, not, it might not be out till 2025 but they can say hey 
is the first slot. Um, mm. We get Spider-Man 2. We're also going to get oh, probably something Not from next. Ben's studio or Blue Point. Oh, yeah, a new IP from Ben. That's right. Yeah. There, we might see some from them. Uh, Housemark, they're not ready yet. I don't think they mm -hmm. are. Um, last I knew that they were... Wolverine maybe or no? Wolverine's too Wolverine. soon. They got to get Spider-Man 2 out first. Get that marketing yeah, going. Yeah. Wolverine would be like early next year, like a state of play. Um, yeah. yeah. And we did hear, um, you know, we, we did talk about this, but uh, I think it was Steve Blum was, is going to be the voice of Wolverine. Insomnia. Yeah, which is which is huge. And that, it, Steve Blum does great work. Yeah, yeah because he's also work. he's also a voice actor for one of the characters in Final Fantasy VII, Vincent Valentine. Dude. So it's like, oh yeah, it's great. It's great to see that he's expanding out and gonna have a role in that. That'd be great. Um, yeah, because he's got that he's got that that voice that gruffy voice that worked for Wolverine. Um, oh yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, um, um, nothing on Wolverine. That's too soon. But I do see Final Fantasy VII Rebirth being there because that's going to be like Sony's holiday title. Um, Agreed. It's going to yeah. be a thing because after Spider-Man 2, it's like Sony's going to say, yeah, we're all done. We have nothing to showcase. No, this showcase is for like what's coming up like the second half of this year, mm -hmm. which is going to be Spider-Man 2 and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Mm -hmm. And give us going for 2024 and possibly a, a, a look at what games could be possibly coming out in 2025. I mean... So, I mean, yeah. it's not going to promote two games at once, even though they did. But it's just to let us know, hey, we got a brand new IP coming, but Spider-Man 2 is coming. Bam. Like, it's coming, guys. So, I think this... I, and we're going to see the newest yeah. model of the PlayStation 5. Are we going to see a price point for it? Not yet. No, too soon. It's too soon, yeah. Um, yeah, a little too soon. It's going to be, the, it's gonna be the disc, a detachable disk drive. It's going to be a digital PS5. You have to buy the uh, the disc drive separately if you want to play physical games on that, because they want to save on shipping costs and development costs of like two consoles. Like, how many digital consoles? Need? I don't know. Make half of them digital and the other half is doubled. I don't know. You know, they're right. just they're guessing at this point. Um, so this is gonna yeah. be helpful because they're gonna get everybody set up for that, and then if everything's correct, they're not gonna show anything on this this year. I don't think. But yeah. PlayStation 5 Pro is, I guess, rumored or leaked to be out late 2024. So, mm -hmm. uh, biggest surprise, surprise we might see is um, we might see Metal Gear Solid 3, uh, Metal Gear Solid oh, yeah. 3 remake, uh, Metal Gear Rising, maybe. I don't know. Um, that's far as I know for that. I, or maybe we we'll probably see, see a lot of people gonna not gonna be happy about this. Gorilla Games gonna come out not for a live service game. We're gonna see live service games for sure that Sony's got in the works because Bungie's helping them with the expertise about it. Um, right. But Gorilla Games ain't gonna be focusing. Hey guys, we got this live service game. Yeah, they might mention it, but however, we got a lot of people ain't gonna be happy about this. They got a lot of backlash. But they're gonna have a remaster slash remake of Horizon Zero Dawn. To help, mm, help, to help yeah. level the playing field between Zero Dawn that, and Fer Forbidden West to help link it together. Because when people go back and play Zero Dawn first and play Forbidden West, people that play Forbidden West or whatever, go back and play Zero Dawn, it's going to, man, this stuff's kind of jinky. Uh, the animations right. are kind of stiff. It's like, I don't know. Like, so they want to level right. the playing field, I think. But yeah. But a lot of people are going to say, you're going to charge us for this? Like, really? That's what Naughty Dog did? It's like, you know, yeah, but yeah, that's why that's why I think that's gonna happen. Do I? S and maybe depends when the showcase happens. We are gonna get probably a launch trailer of Final Fantasy 16 to get that going. It's Sony's that's Sony's summer hitter. It's Final Fantasy 16. Yeah. Ain't Ain't um, Survivor. Gotta, it's not Dylan Two. It's Final Fantasy 16. That's their big I blockbuster. Probably, for summer. Uh, the games I'm getting this year is right now. I'm, in my eyes, what I'm looking at. I Survivor. Yeah. Final Fantasy 16, Spider Man 2, and Silent Hill 2 remake. Those are like the four, the four games that yeah, yeah. I'm getting this year. Uh, yeah. The big winners, you know? Uh, because it's just. Uh, it's so many good games, but my wallet speaks for itself. Yeah. Right? And there's one more There's <laughs> one more surprise we might see, and a lot of people probably forgotten about this game. It's a Capcom game. That they announced like over two Pragmata, years ago, that's right. and yeah. it's Pragmata. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Shit. Where's that That's game right. with the astronaut and this girl that has special powers? Lol, cat. Is that looked interesting? I looked interesting, but where is it? It's supposed to be out this year, by the way. Um, I saw and it. it, it, it don't remind me of. Remind me a little bit of Returnal, of like. Yeah, it kind of. It kind of does, but it's like it's really it's like wow. Capcom's making a like a a really idealistic like create. It's a creative looking game, like. It's got yeah. people that's like, man, this looks kind of different. You know, Capcom, they're mostly focused on what? Devil May Cry and Resident Evil, Monster Hunter, and Street Fighters and stuff Street like that. Fighter, it's like, yeah. This is like a game that's out of their realm. Like, this is not what they're normally famous for. Like, God, I wish they'd make another Mega Man game. Oh, oh man. I'd, be so, I'd be so sick. <laughs> <laughs> I it's wish. It's never going to happen. <laughs> Oh man, dude, I wish. It's funny wish. though, they keep referencing everything. They even got the, the, the Mega Man uh collection volume you can buy. Exactly. And the, oh, and the and all their all their uh, arcade games they got coming out. Arcade vol really Capcom new... Arcade Volume yeah, Three. Devil May Cry five they have a, a, a an Easter egg they have a weapon. One of Nero's arms is actually inspired by the Mega Man. Yeah, the Mega Buster. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's so Buster, sick. Yeah. And like, even Monster awesome. Hunter World's got where you can have a little Mega Man pellicle follow you around with a Mega Man blaster. Yeah. That's yeah. so sick. And when you do that hunt, it's actually the Mega Man theme. Yeah. And then and one, really one, really one, the hunts, one of the Dude, special so. events you do actually has like the Devil May Cry uh, 3 soundtrack in it it's just you're trying to unlock dante's layered armor and his dante sword which ain't really is but talk to my friends right. like you know that's not dante's sword right i go what is it that's virgil's sword well i just call it virgil's sword not dante's sword so right. they're trying to match it but it's pretty neat how they did that yeah yeah or like you can do a special event on monster on the world and get aloy's outfit yep yes i do remember that yeah that's, that's all cool. sick yeah that's like yeah, I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter World recently. Yeah, yeah see, no, I, I used to play with a bunch guys, of friends, but... I, I tried, but I couldn't get into Monster Hunter. Is it any good? It's it's hard to get into, but it is, it, it is fun. It's just really grinding, you know what I mean? Like, it's like Elden Ring, right? It's it's, it's very... Yeah, yeah I, I'm going to say this to make it put in a better perspective. Does it have, does it have some uh, gameplay elements from Dark Souls? Absolutely. Does it yeah. have some elements of, like, you're fighting nothing but bosses over and over to grind for materials and stuff? Absolutely. Is there, right. like, you know, you got 14 different weapons, play styles to choose from? That's amazing. That's why they got a training, you know, practice field to go out and practice. Yeah, the, the, the thing about, like, the variety of weapons is, like, really cool. Especially since I've been, you know, learning to branch out more and more with weapons recently. Cause I lo a lot I run a, I run switch axe a lot proto axe yeah. and dualies, but oh, yeah. like I've also been doing a lot with light light bow gun. I'm a, and... I'm a great sword user. Oh yeah, great <laughs> big respect. But I'm gonna tell you one thing too. Uh, over if you ever want to get back to like try Monster Hunter World, mm -hmm. it is way more fun with friends. You have yeah, a lot absolutely. more kick ass fun and memories with friends. Like I remember one point I was playing with three other people. And was fighting this big old like wyvern, this blue wyvern, uh, as the raffles. And he's like shooting yep. the fireballs and stuff. And I had my lance out. I was like, using the lance and doing the like the dashing thrust. And I did a yeah. uh, uh, dashing so thrust. Crazy. I jumped up, smacked him in the tail, cut his tail off in midair. He went flying about 20 feet the opposite direction. I was like, take that, you piece of crap. <laughs> oh, dear God. And my friends was like, that is so sick. I'm going to record that clip. It's like, it's like I, I could never repeat that again. It was so yeah. sick. <laughs> Like so fun. It's the type of game you want to play with friends. But you do have to realize you have to understand it's like, yes, I have to keep an eye on my health. I gotta keep an eye on my stamina. If you run out of stamina, like your character can't move, he can't dodge. Like it's it's like you gotta you gotta yeah. like look at the how the monsters like move, what what they do for like as far as patterns and take advantage of it. So it's like Yeah. It's a very strategic game. It's very fun though. But when you play with friends for hours, it's like you go on these hunts. Only sometimes only take you about five minutes, ten minutes, maybe yeah. a half hour. There's some boss. Yeah. There's some monsters that take almost an hour to fight. That's oh, long. Yeah. An hour, really? Yeah. Whoa. No, yeah. unless you get good, like Hungers. get good scrub. Again, Odagaron, oh, yeah. Diablos. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they're, they're fun. The fun hunt and the elder dragons, like oh. Yep. Come on, Saturn. Uh, and and my prime, in my prime, I will I will wake up or or I say, you know, I need a warm up hunt. I need to get myself motivated, get the juices flowing. So they got these arch tempered elder dragons, yep. and I will warm up against Lunastra, ah, arch tempered, nice. and I be I beating her up, and feels like, are you nuts? You chose those Nostra Arch Temper as a warm up punk? Oh, yeah, I guess the juice is flowing. We got a lot of history together. <laughs> so it's like, that was so awesome. It's like, Hell all the yeah. memories, all the memories. All right. But yeah, like, I got people that want to play Monster Hunter. I was like, yeah, want to get back at it. If I stream it. Yeah, it's it's worth it. Uh, and, and um, so if I get into Monster Hunter, like, go try and. Should I buy or like which one do you yes. recommend? That um, world. World? world. Okay. Yeah, world um, some of the easiest mechanics to get used to. If I was you, I would get it on you want it physically or digitally? Uh probably physically to be honest. Or yeah. actually no. Because you can get a physical copy of Monster Hunter World, Iceborne like Master Edition. Let me let me do some digging mm -hmm. real quick. <laughs> uh, hang on, I'll go I'll go, um, let's go to, let's go to Amazon. Yeah. Fish. Okay, so you get the Master Edition for like $31 right now. Oh, that's a steal. Yeah, that's, yeah it's not bad. That's yeah, mm -hmm. not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, they even got a steel, they got a steel book here? Yeah. Oh, right. sick. Yeah, it's twenty. It's sixty dollars for that. But yeah, so, it's like thirty one dollars. Or Capcom did have a sale. You probably missed it. It's over with now on PlayStation Plus store. The PlayStation they, oh, store. Oh, did they really? Yeah. Uh, if you want to wait for a sale, to, I think it's a little bit cheaper there. Maybe just just mm -hmm. check. It's also if you got PlayStation Plus Extra, it's you got Monster Hunter World base game. You can just download and play. You just got to buy okay. Iceborne separate. Yeah, uh, but remember this: Iceborne is not just like a ten-hour experience. It's like adding on another game on top of it. Yeah, as far as yeah, hours, and it makes the game a lot better. It's like, it's like an expansion of something. Yeah, sort. it's a like, big expansion. Pretty much, it's a huge okay. expansion. When it came out, I paid fifty dollars for that expansion. Yeah, it, it's, it's wow. big. so I paid one hundred ten dollars for Monster Hunter World and Iceborne twice. Wow, yeah. I was into it. I'm Xbox and PlayStation. I, that's why I had over like, eighteen hundred hours on it. Yeah, are they making, good. like, a, a next-gen There, There is a rumor saying they are making a next-gen Monster Hunter game for Xbox Series and PlayStation 5 and PC. It's but we, we don't know yet. They, there's a possibility they could review updating. it later on this year, but I wouldn't recommend it. They're still updating Rise and shit, too, so... Mm -hmm. If we go by Rise the pattern, only, like, I, Rise I, has to be I, almost I, done before they announce yeah. the next one. Yeah. By the way, guys, I have to... Recommend a game. Mm -hmm. you guys. Rise, son of Rome. Oh my God, that game. And oh yeah, you texted me about that. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. But another yeah, game, I'm gonna leave it off for here, uh, because we gotta end this soon. We're almost at two and a yeah, half hours. I'm, I was just about to say we're we're getting in there. Yeah. So, so. I I'm gonna leave it here. That one of the next big Japanese like uh almost like a Japanese samurai game. Is Rise of the Ronin for PS5. Oh, yeah, dude, I saw that. It's a very... Like, I saw... Let's see. There's a little information wanna, awesome. I want to cover real quick. Let's see if I can okay. find that real quick, and we'll end it. Um, Where was it? It wasn't here. It's in gameplay, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, Right here. Okay, it's going to be... Okay, it's going to be open world slash RPG, which is fine. Uh, 19th, yeah. 19th century Japan, uh, Edo era. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Uh, oh, deadly uh, combat with katanas and other blades and firearms. Is it going to be, yeah. be inspired by Ghost of Tsushima? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, you can, ride, you can ride horses to explore, so that's not a Ghost of Tsushima thing. The yeah. lead is... The lead is a ronin without any royal loyalties, leaving players free to make choices. Ooh. Awesome. That's it's got a it's got a like deep that, yeah. dark story focusing on the most most something. Um, oh yeah, he's probably got the <laughs> oh uh, critical revolution 
in the history of Japan, including the darkest and ugliest chapters that many will shy away from. Uh, make decisions impacting the story. Launching 2024 on PlayStation 5. Sweet. Wow. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I am, cool. I am so, I am so sad. I love Samurai Samurai stuff. I saw the Dude, gameplay I'm... footage of that like when they first announced it. I was like, what the hell is this? Is this Ghost of Tsushima too? It's like, being no, Rise of the Ronin. Like... Like... It's being developed by Team Ninja. Yeah, but Team Ninja, Ninja also worked on yeah. uh, Stranger of Paradise. Yeah. Worked on Neo. Oh, yeah, Neo 1, Neo 2. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oolong, Oolong Fallen Destiny. Yeah. They worked on that too, so a lot of All games right. they worked all right, guys. All right. Hey, uh, thank you for joining us on this lovely long podcast. Hope you guys stuck yeah. around this long and enjoyed our conversation. If you would, drop a like, subscribe a new, share with a friend. If you guys want more podcasts such as these, we'll have more. Um, I'm going to have Final Fantasy 16 coverage tomorrow. Um, I got a lot to cover, a live reaction and whatnot. So look forward to that. But this cool. has been fun, guys. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Alpha. Yeah. Thank you, Over. As always, yeah. I'd love to have you Dude, guys on next time. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah, Over is like, hey, I want a again. friend to join. Feel yeah. free. I'd love to have more awesome. of the Mario. So. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I've had a great time. Yeah, me All too. Right. Like, this is such such a great moment. So thank you, guys. Thank you, you too. Have a wonderful all day, right. wonderful night. Keep on keeping on. I'll catch you all in the next video. Take care.